I start streaming. Hey, Hobbit's on. We got Berber Cat in the house. Let's see. I'm going to do the intro one more time. <laughs> I know there's a naked Brian Paul around here somewhere. Where is he? This is Met Club, and this is the Games Cast Live. Can you hear me? And to the detriment of everyone involved, they can now see us as well. Yes, Tantastic Gamer, I'm on Gamecast Live for, well, let's call it the foreseeable future. Let's call it the foreseeable future. <laughs> um, in Michelle's absence, we needed uh, we needed somebody. Also, where the fuck is Jeremy? <laughs> I, he's under the table hiding. Under the table. Yeah, we're doing spooky games this month, so we got really scared. I, I love it. I love it. Thank, thank you, Mikey Diaz. Yeah. You're, you're two minutes too late. He can't hear the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so hello from Spain. Oh, Spain. Spain. Um, someone was asking, I didn't catch it. What was the game on the intro? Oh, that was, uh, that was Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider had a, um, ha has like this, this small VR portion where you explore Croft oh, Manor. Right. Uh, and, uh, and I don't own it, strangely enough. I, I need to, I need to pick it up for like you know whenever it's on sale for like ten bucks just yeah, so I yeah. can finally check out Croft Manor. Uh, but I I had just finished the definitive edition of Tomb Raider. Okay, well they don't need to play anymore because that's the definitive edition. Well, the one before it. <laughs> uh, so I didn't yeah. So I was like I'm not interested in more Tomb Raider right now. It's not VR. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, give me. Hey, God, can say hi. Say hi. Talk to these people. I want to see if this is. Okay, this is uh, Des talking to these people. I want to say hi to everybody who's been on the chat. Thank you so much for putting up with kind of the craziness. Uh, technology is fantastic until it doesn't work. Also, and, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Well, but I mean, you, you know what you're doing more than, say, me. <laughs> as, I've said, as I've said numerous times on this show and on this channel, uh, if anybody could actually see behind the scenes... If they could see all the, the crisscross <laughs> of wires. There's actually, like, um, there's, there's wires on the floor, and they're growing into, like the biggest ball of yarn ever yeah so i just got finished playing like um the room there there's a new sequel to the room it's like the mobile game okay and like every time you beat a room these black tentacles kind of flow into the room and take it over i'm a big fan of tentacles i walked in here it's like oh my god i just beat brian's level <laughs> uh, awesome uh mickey sensei says don't buy anything before your birthday brian and uh the That's other mikey sensei mikey sorry mikey's game cat extraordinaire I, like if you say the name i say oh yeah mickey Mikey, listen, Mikey, listen. I, oh, Mikey, you're so fine. You're this so is this is this is the weirdest thing ever. Last yeah. year around this time, we mm -hmm. had like seven thousand subscribers. I know. And 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 I, and I woke up on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Um, which it's not today. Don't. don't oh, I hear a door. Me. I hear a door. I hear a door too. Um, right. But I woke up on my birthday to like the weirdest thing ever, and yep. that was like notifications, notifications, notifications. Everybody from like all hey. different social medias. Hey, the king made it. What's up, Sofa King? Uh. Notifications from all all over the place. People wishing me happy birthday, and uh, and I was like, holy crap, this is the weirdest thing ever. Um, and uh, and as my birthday rolls in again this year, uh, we have three times as many subscribers. All right, we have three times as many subscribers, mm -hmm. and uh, so without without going into detail, <sighs> without going into detail, uh, I want to say I want to say thank you to uh, Madman and Black the Game Cat. Wow, uh, He knows why. Wow. Also want to say thank you to Kevgret. He knows why. Aww. Uh, and uh, and also in, in advance, thank you, Mikey Sensei. But I don't need anything. I don't want anything. <laughs> right? I just want Jeremy to show up on time. He wants time. Is that oh. really too much to ask? Oh. Nothing in this city. Yes, Jeremy. Uh, or actually, get both of you guys give me give me a check one. Check one. Okay. How about check one? Uh, check one. Only one. Check two. Check There's three. There's no two. Should I enunciate? <laughs> yes, actually, that, okay. that works perfectly. Excellent. Uh, you get the weird one. You, this, is, this is my voice from now on. You get, you get the super <laughs> stiff, like super really stiff. high one. I get the, the super warm, stiff, really high one. Warm yeah. breath, super stiff yeah. mic. What's going on in the chat? Everybody's watching your movie. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um, so Madman in Black uh, sent me to Twitter, and Hello, somebody animal. else whose name escapes me, they actually watched watched the movie and enjoyed it. So awesome. If you really want, like, 
seriously, uh, if you really enjoyed it, want to spread the word, hashtag it. The blood is the life. Whenever you post about it, oh, yeah. and uh, um, Michael and Sophia, they are still on board on their social media for that. So that helps spread the word. Um, yeah, it, it was great. I mean, I think. I think they've made a profit on it at this point. Nice. But the more love we can get from them, the better. They're actually off in the West Coast now making other movies. Their newest, uh, called Clickbait, um, is doing the festival circuit right now and getting some pretty good reviews. So, uh, yeah. So, definitely the Buzz Life. Thank you for the support there. And, uh, yeah, spread the love. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining us. Oh, I feel like a eunuch right now. Yes. I feel like I left the I house. I don't think it's <laughs> contagious. With it. <laughs> An integral part of my body. So, you know, I, I I didn't get a cell phone until I was like fucking 30, 33, 34 years old, my first Is cell 20, phone. You had a cell phone 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's some good quick math skills, man. Thanks. I am good. Yeah. And um, Hire me. So I got the new phone the, a few days back, right? Mm-hmm. And it has been quite an ordeal trying to, I guess activate it back it up i don't know okay. i apparently never ever backed up anything oh so trying to get ever. your old information to your new phone and yeah uh, and so and i'm so nervous because with the kids it's like oh now i leave the house it's like there's no way for anybody to get a hold of me anywhere so i i brought the new phone even though it is literally useless while yeah. the other one's been at the house for several days backing up yeah and it's a continuous several like several days Ah, well, I went to bed last night. It said 16 hours. Oh, jeez. I woke up this morning. It said 16 hours. That doesn't seem right. No. Yeah, so I went cool. to the Verizon store, yeah. and the guy's oh, basically God. like, well, you got 121 gigabytes. You're backing up. He oh, goes, God. we tell people with five gigs, it's going to be several hours. You know? Yeah. And so All he's right. like, that's a lot. He goes, you've never backed up? And I'm like, no, I've never done it. How do you have 121 gigabytes of information? There's a lot of photos phone. from the kids. It's like, God, I must have but, most of its videos and right. um, photos. But how much storage did you have on your phone? That's like... The other like... one was, I forget, it was almost filled. So probably what was the old one? 125 maybe? Uh, I had like 121 gigabytes. 120 256 would be... The new one's yeah. a 256 one. And... Wow. But then as I was ready to leave, I got a phone call on this. Hello. And I'm like, oh, oh Scott, thank you. Happy early birthday, Brian. Oh, my gosh. That's thank a, you. That's a cold, hot cash. We know what that one, that's that symbol Canadian. right there. That's uh, Canadian dollars, though. Uh, okay, so it's probably like $50. I was know. thinking it, it's California. Like, it's like Monopoly money, can, yeah. that Canadian stuff. What, no, what, it's actually, well, it, it flipped a couple years I, ago. Yeah, but I can't see it from here. I see, I see a brand. Uh, $20 money from. symbol. Thank you so yeah. much, dude. Thank you no, so much. This Canadians' is, economy is kicking our ass. So this is this is this is what I'm talking about, though. Like really, like I I brought it up to say thank you to a few people, but like, but but really, no, we don't. I don't. I don't know. When is the fun. actual date? My birthday is in June. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, the big three nine. Woo. Three. Wait, I'm so old. Yeah, you guys are both older than me. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I'm older, than, and I'm like, oh yeah, I am older than you. <laughs> Who is it? Scott? How old are you? Uh, Scott Braniuk. Yeah, yes. I'm 41. Thank you, Scott. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm not the oldest one here. Woo-hoo. Brian's the baby of the group. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Let's change him. Data or data? Uh, it depends if you want to be right or wrong. Yeah, I, that, I want to watch Star Trek. Then it's data. That's Perfect. data. One is my name, and one is not. <laughs> nice. Uh, so this is this is PSVR Gamescast Live. Is it? Uh, this is just, we talk about PlayStation <laughs> VR games. Uh, we do. Surprisingly, sometimes, uh, not, yes. not all the time, as, as you guys have been noticing. Um, actually, for, for the first 10 minutes, we, we didn't even have a show. So We talked about yeah, yelling at wires. <laughs> oh, God. I was I was yelling at wires, like very, very loud. Brian was an unhappy camper. I'm always an unhappy camper, um, but usually I'm unhappy right up until the time the show starts. Yeah. And the fact that I was still unhappy after the show started was very, very rare. Do you get like verbally upset very often? Like, actually, I'm yelling at things you no, yeah. i do you just yeah. not here for well, it okay fair enough oh yeah moments <laughs> before you walk through the door i'm like fucking fucking piece of goddamn one goddamn green screen but you know, like, i mean like anything like, yes. okay anything all right fair enough you know we he's like it. uh and you've seen this place the place is a mess so finding stuff impossible <laughs> so it's like why can't i ever find anything well i know why i can't find anything the place is a mess i know where your but power yet, as he types what? i know where your power glove is a power glove has not left that spot. No, I was going to say, yep. Since Hell power glove. Like three years, maybe. Four. Since before the big clean, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, there was a big clean? There was. Yeah, <laughs> when there was the uh, little extra shelf here, that's about as far as it went. That's a good and back out there. Yeah, it's a good place for it. Yeah. Yeah, no one has any idea what we're talking about because that's no. never been on camera. <laughs> 
uh, and will never be. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to PSVR Gamescast mm-hmm. Live. Uh, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, your center, is uh, is is Desra. Hello, right, so, left, and center. Is, I'm not used to introducing you on the show. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. And then to my far right, your far left, uh, the, the the sofa king himself. It's Jeremy. The late king. Jeremy and politically king. far right as well. So, yes. What? I don't think that's a thing. No, probably not. No. <laughs> Uh, we didn't make him take his brown armbands off before he walks in. <laughs> yeah. May I ask <laughs> a question? Yes. How did I get a, a phone call on this? Like, I can't do anything with it, but it was a, it was a, a customer from work, so they, yeah. that's why I was late. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know things. Uh, yeah. I don't we, we don't, we don't want to say it out loud because you don't want that to happen, but let's, let's do a live test. Type your number in there. We'll see what Ooh, happens. That's true. Yeah. So we're doing Jeremy's tech support while we're on. Do we have any Verizon techs in the audience? Yeah. It's just going to take right, forever, I think. <laughs> so, so so you guys are doing what now? You're calling him? Are you calling him? Oh, you know what? I bet you I only can do Wi-Fi. Wait, what? It, it's oh, ringing. Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Okay. Weird. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it, see, it said hello. It totally works. Everything's okay. fine. Everything's fine. So I, I guess work. emergency calls will go through. Good. <laughs> All right, it's it's twelve twenty three. Yeah, let's start the show. All right, all right. <laughs> this thing's supposed to start at noon. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure uh, housekeeping. Make sure you head on over to the PlayStation Four community, mm-hmm. uh, the PSVR without parole game cats. Wow. And, uh, and join us on over there. Uh, it's not the best thing going, as we, we know. It's it's, it's it's the technical issues aside. Yeah. Uh, that is where the coolest of the coolest game cats hang out. Uh, I don't like using my PlayStation 4 to access that thing. Mm. I like doing it on my phone. Yep. Uh, and uh, and that's the best way to use that thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a little broken. Why we can't use it on the computer is is I don't know. beyond me. I get what? so nervous leading a converse, leaving a conversation that's ended like six months early because it's like you know oh you're gonna break up the convo and right. and leave <laughs> and I feel like an asshole and everybody else does it yeah. so I just you know. Uh, yeah, I don't well, know. let's just say Sony has not been the most responsive historically to customer demands. No, we're still trying to change our <laughs> usernames from like yeah. 10 years ago. Uh, so, yeah, John is over there. Uh, also, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash without parole. Games. Thank you very much. Uh, for just a dollar or more every month, you can uh, you can support three starving podcasters Ooh. in Worcester, Massachusetts, and also gain access to a little thing we call the Litter Box, um, which is a weekly show where seemingly all we do these days is just Des and I sit down and talk for about 20 minutes yeah. uh, about this week hammering nails into his face. This week. That was good times. Did Des you do that? hammered a yeah. nail into yep. his did you, face this oh, week. Oh, yeah. You did it's, one of the, the I, things. Human blockhead. I promise you it's worth your dollar. It absolutely is. And, and not even for my, the actual trick itself, because you can see people doing it all over the place, but this guy's reactions were amazing. I'm very curious yeah. now. So not for that just I, a dollar or more a month, Jeremy, you can check <laughs> it out. <laughs> I can picture it fully. But initially, mm-hmm. what made you start to try that? A lack of free time and no social life. Does it hurt? Too much free time. Um, if you do it correctly, no. A lack of so you have to get I mean, it. I meant uh, too much free time. I That's what I was yeah. So what are you chiseling into? Cartilage or actual like bone, jawbone, well, or would, flesh? That would be coming. I can't tell all my stuff, but I, I will God say if it. you do it correctly, it is perfectly safe. If you do it incorrectly, it is lethal. So don't try this at home, kids. Wow. Yeah. No, it's it's really. So uh, I showed my parents. People could say that okay. about eating a carrot too. No. <laughs> if you eat a carrot incorrectly, it could be lethal. Lethal. Yes. Fully lethal. Yeah. Like if you don't use your mouth. I just. Oh, I, I, don't just, I don't know. <laughs> well, choking, if you eat it sideways. That's true. Yeah. I wasn't thinking of like rectally, Brian. I'm sorry. That's not where my brain goes. <laughs> That's the only thing I ever Very think about. Very clean and tame. <laughs> Anyways, your parents, speaking of yes. rectally. Speaking of. <laughs> anal sex wow that's not how I think about them um, that's why they didn't expect yeah. you bride they're like how did this they, 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 they often watch this is this is very strange okay. um, yeah, <laughs> he no, said my, it my, my, they were absolutely convinced that you were using a trick nail or something nope. that it collapses or, and I was like nope, nope he really is actually am. doing this absolutely. Des is a circus sideshow freak mm-hmm. and we love him for it yeah and that's you know to stand up for my, my sword sol- uh, my sword swallowing brother and sister in as well they don't use collapsible things for that either um, yeah so yeah, real that, nails that wouldn't huh? be any fun at all no no why, why bother why bother yeah no, real nails real swords the whole thing uh, so uh, a few games came out to the PlayStation store last week <laughs> PlayStation what are we talking about I don't know okay uh, let's I don't know let's 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 watch some of these trailers of the yeah. games that came out uh, the first one this is blind blind uh, you walking around as a deaf girl nope that's not right uh, nope blind girl blind girl <laughs> yeah it's a but you're walking around as a, as a girl who lost one of her senses. Right, you can actually pretty much play any VR game as a deaf person, really. Just turn off the sound. Yes, to, you know, there you go. 
I, I kind of I kind of wanted to do that in this game as well. I was like I was like it's it's fine that she's blind because she's mm. got this stick to walk around with. Right. Yeah. But, but nothing can help so me yeah, escape the horrible voice so acting. Though. Yeah. I was like maybe if I escape the horrible voice acting in the story, mm. I'll enjoy this game more. Maybe that's how blind you and I you and I people. played this at PAX East. We, we did, yes. And I will tell you mm -hmm. that it starts off really, really great. Yeah. Uh, and then it just kind of like it's just. I don't know. It's just all right that's, after that's that. Sad disappointment. Well, I also, I think we talked about it last week too. The the control scheme is so different Awkward. and not as great on the PSVR. So, so there were some issues you would have with the PSVR uh, navigation that you don't really have with the Oculus and the Vive. So, yeah. and and as strange, Sony as, get on that. As strange as it all is, like you, you do get used to it, mm -hmm. uh, and then they and then at the last minute they throw in another gameplay device that requires you to like use more buttons and fingers that you have. Oh. And I was like, did anyone get this far when they play tested the game? <laughs> Maybe like put the DS4 on the ground and use it with your toes? That would be awesome. At the same time? That would be pretty, tricky, yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty My perfect. Left Foot starring God Daniel Day-Lewis. There we go. There you we know, go. I do appreciate that you showed up. But <laughs> do we always have to turn this into like a 1980s podcast? <laughs> that wasn't podcast? in the 80s. Was it 90s? Yeah, that was, was the it, 90s. Was it 90s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it, it was early it was 90s, probably like, it? No, probably. I think it was what, like 96 to 98 um, maybe? But that's not early at all. No. Okay. I could be wrong with that. It could yeah, be 94. I think it was in high school. I don't know if I was in high school. Um, I'm glad it's not 80s this week. Mm. That would be my dinner with Andre. Yeah. Great decade of movies. <laughs> what, what was the movie I was supposed to watch this week? Uh, Fright, Night. Fright Night. Yeah, I didn't do that. Okay. That's uh, all right. I will. I will. People in the chat and stuff said, oh, Fright Night's my favorite scary movie. It's and a good I was movie. like, well, okay, I I'm, I'm believe you. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's like, I think maybe you might not like yeah, it, it as much, but I think, like, if you say I'm a horror fan and you haven't watched Fright Night, it's just kind of one of those. Oh no! Trust me, my my horror movie backlog mm -hmm. is extensive, and and I in one of these days, yeah, I'm just going to take a week off from the channel. Ooh, nope. Actually, maybe this week. All right. Cut. This <laughs> week, <laughs> I, and, and just and just do nothing but watch movies that I've never seen that I should have. Right. Like The Exorcist is mm -hmm. an awesome movie. Yes. I don't know how many of them I've seen. I, I know that the uh, you only need to see one. Yeah. No. The Exorcist Legion VR, the the awesome PlayStation VR game we've been playing, oh. is uh is is apparently based on Exorcist Three, and I'm like, well, and everyone says it's a great movie, maybe the best in the series. Jeez. I feel like I should watch it. Yeah, but I mean, you can you can play a game based on a video or based on a movie, and you know, I don't know, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I'm never going to watch Don't Knock Twice. I yeah, don't don't do that. I I, <laughs> I, I enjoyed kind the, of enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the game. Yeah. The movie's real bad. Yeah. Did so, I see yeah. that movie? You wouldn't know if you did, because it's just like everything else you've ever seen. It falls into that, I'm just going to remember this as a Wait, blur yeah. kind of memory. Yeah. yeah, it's one of them doesn't stand out. No, mm. only, only for its only for its mediocrity. Oh, Astrobot's only seven days away. Is Astrobot is? only seven days oh. away? Dead Ringer, I just ordered pre-ordered Astrobot. I can't believe it's only seven days away. Is I just October 3rd? Something like that. That sounds yeah. right. Yeah, that's, that, that is on my list of most anticipated titles. Yeah. Since Pretty much since uh, the demo desk came out. Jesus. Like the VR playroom disc, right? The playroom, yes, playroom, and even that was never announced. It was just like this was the shining example. I was like, why didn't you make this game? And then he did. Yeah, yay, yeah. yay. Uh, uh, so we also last week got. Let's check this one out. This is Buttons. this may contain content inappropriate for children. Woo! Jeremy, well, cover your eyes. Ah, uh, which I got four of them. Uh, so this is Downward Spiral Horse Station. Great album. <laughs> right. Great album. The Downward um, Spiral. We were talking about this at work recently. What mm -hmm. what were the singles off of Downward Spiral? Well, they had... Uh, was Closer on that? Closer was on that. It was, you know, okay. The, yep. Fuck yeah, the, pretty Hate Machine what, was before that. You Pretty Hate Machine. Right, pretty my hate favorite, machine. But. Nice. You make me forget. Like I'm like, oh, oh, the radio hits. I just basically, that album was one of those ones you put it in, Beginning hit play, end. and yeah. let yeah. it finish. Uh, hey, for, for me, it's strangely enough, The Fragile. Uh huh. A two disc album. Yeah. W beginning to end for me. Oh, That's okay. a good one too. Oh, so good. I liked a lot of the uh, alternate versions. Didn't they have the alternate versions of a lot of shit from the Downward Spiral? I think there might have been. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, Anyways, but sure. Downward Spiral Horror <laughs> Station. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is uh, is an interesting game. I'll tell you that because uh, what it is is uh, it's an astronaut game. Yeah. And so so what I did is basically Dave Station and I played this co op for like hmm. three hours straight. Okay. So you you two astronauts floating around in space or a space station, horse station, right. and uh, and at first you're just like grabbing onto things. You're like you're like oh I'm just gonna grab onto this wall over here and launch myself off of it. Yeah. Right. Feels pretty good. I don't think it's gonna make you sick like like uh, detached it. Detached was 
a bad, bad thing for Des. Yeah, yeah, we made we made Des do detached. We yeah. never made oh. Des do detached. <laughs> yeah, why would you guys? You did that? What? Was that an experiment? I, I did the it training. was an experiment. It was an yeah. experiment. Yeah. I did the training room fine, but yeah. the second I got into the real room, I was actually had to navigate. Wait, around the there. training room was fine for you? Well, it was it was okay. Like was it doing the whole like shrinking down your vision? It like? was doing that, but that doesn't seem to really affect or help me at all okay. in games. Um, but yeah, once I got into the actual space and I was like having to navigate kind of just on my own yeah kind of just... I get woozy after a while for certain titles they'll give me that yeah. and I know it almost instantly I'm like oh this is one of them yeah. I get yeah. that like little feeling but you can keep going and it just kind of it doesn't like get to that point where you feel sick yeah. for me. It just gets me that like slight dizzy feeling, you know. I found my, my warning sign is uh, that was my fault. <laughs> um, it was <laughs> that was Madman's fault. Yeah, yeah, Madman was totally like, I, I have a theory, and I was like, let's test your theory. <laughs> Des stayed in bed the rest of the day. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. But I, I have found out my trigger, like, well, not my trigger, but my warning is if I start sweating. If that's totally fine. I'm playing. All of a sudden, I start sweating. Like, oh, bad things are coming. Yeah. And I, I and I should bail at that point. And I don't often though. And, and stuff like this, especially the last few months, it's been so hot this summer. It's been hard to tell. That, yeah, you're like, <laughs> am I am I sick or am I just really hot? I yeah. Have no idea. Uh, so, uh, but but the deal with Downward Spiral Horror Station is that unlike uh, Detached, you're not like turning on. Is it the X axis or? Uh, yeah, it depends. On, I think it's Y axis. Why? Okay. So pitch and yaw. So whatever it is, right. you're not you're not going forward. You're not going sideways. Yeah. You are only going up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. And at first, like I said, you're just grabbing onto like rails and right. grabbing onto walls and like launching yourself. Yeah. Which is fun, but within moments, they give you this awesome little grappling gun. Oh, okay. And so you're just like, I want to go to that wall over there, and you go. Grappling and, gun. And you shoot it. Everything. And it's like it's like Rico in space. And you just and it just brings you there. Yeah. What's great is when I'm playing with Dave Station, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and I'm like, and then he's like really far ahead of me. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait for me to catch up. And I'm like, ah, screw it. And I go, foom, foom, and I just launch it onto his right. butt. Okay. And then suddenly I'm now I'm tethered to Dave Station's butt. Yeah. Which not something I like to do no. outside of VR. <laughs> yeah. But in VR, I'm like, that's ridiculous. And I love it. Now, is the physics realistic? Like if he's moving that way and you're moving uh, like past him and you tag him, you start like spinning around each other? Oh, no, no. Or no, you just uh, kind of grab No, no, no. So it's, it's, it's very much a game. Okay. Uh, and, and the physics are acceptable yeah we'll call it that okay. uh, it's but but here's the thing uh, i didn't review this yet but here's what to expect from my review mm -hmm. the first hour is awesome and you're like uh -oh. this is cool the, the, the second hour is better here's here's a blue disc drive let's go find a blue disc yeah you know and you do that and then like oh here's uh here's two levers okay you stand over there and pull that lever i'm gonna stand over here and pull that lever oh we just unlocked the door awesome and then like after the first 30 minutes mm -hmm. you're like wait didn't we already just do all this uh, and you yeah. do it again you do it again. Okay. You do it again, and the environments don't even change that much. Yeah. Like I remember, we opened the door, and there was a blue light, and we we're like, "Oh, this looks different." And I was like, yeah. "Oh no, they just put a blue light on the same environments we've already yeah. been traversing." Uh, yeah. So, like within the first hour, it gets repetitive, yeah. and then you do that for like three more hours, and by the end, you're like, "Okay, I've seen like one or two new things." Yeah. But man, is it repetitive? That said. It's a lot of fun for what it is. Okay. Don't do it alone. Like the only the, most of the fun we were having was because yeah. like he and I were just goofing off talking about life and stuff and being like, I deadered your butt. Okay. You know. I mean you can do that in real life, so <laughs> but don't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, downward spiral, okay game. Um, yeah. not great. Yeah, I'll have to try it out because like Star Blood, no problem. I can I can play Star Blood without, without an issue. I'm assuming you're not doing a lot of barrel rolls and but do barrel, barrel rolls. rolls. Probably barrel not. roll. Is it the more realistic over the more cartoony you can yeah, tolerate? I don't, I don't know. I'll have to sit and try. I don't know. It's hmm. all an experiment. Some, some VR experts out there probably know exactly what's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for you yeah. to see next week's episode of Why We Love PlayStation VR. Actually, I can't wait to film it tonight because yeah. I have we have so much to talk about. We do. All right. Uh, another another thing that came out last week, uh, the, the, the sequel to the game that no one asked for a sequel to. Uh, yeah, this is this is unearthing Mars too. Did we do this oh last yeah, week? that's right. I wanted to re wa read, read, watch know. a review oh, of okay. that. Well, every every week we go. This is what came out last week, and then we say this is what came out this week. Oh okay. So we're just recapping last week's episode. Recapping. Okay. We are thirty six minutes into this week's show. And we're just recapping last week, and we have not Sweet. gotten to this week's show yet. Awesome. And there, we don't have much of a show planned, if you can't tell. And that's no. the quality that you have come to expect from PlayStation VR without parole. That's right. Uh, so uh, so this here's here's. I'm pleasantly surprised with Unearthing Mars 2. Yeah, I was hoping you would be, uh, for some strange reason. So hit the motor. Yes, you absolutely should buy Skyrim VR. It'll make you love the game in a whole new way. 
Haytham, what are you doing, man? Buy Skyrim VR. You should totally. I feel like Haytham asked us this a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So did you see this right here? Yes. Yes. See that? That's straight That's out of the first pretty... game. That guy holds your hand far too much. Oh. Like literally? Like he reaches over and he holds your hand and I was like, Dude. Oh, like in that sense. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean it's not like a romantic thing. He like he, he like feels bad for something you're talking about and he's like, It's gonna be okay. But the voice acting so bad just like the first game that I'm like, Get your hand off me. I wanna skip this cutscene. <laughs> right? I don't have I want nothing to do with the characters in this game. The cutscenes go on for Ever mm. and I just and I just found myself like leaning on the square button, being like, "Please tell me there's not another one. Please uh, tell me." Really? Oh god! There's some cool character and like design, though. I mean, this this looks neat. It looks neat. Um, and but ultimately, it's 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 like average at best. Mm -hmm. yeah. The gunplay is great. I will okay. say that like the aim controller in your hand like feels awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that and that's it, man. It's it's just an excuse to to run around and sh and shoot really generic enemies. Oh. There, there's, there's like. How is the whole constant boss battle thing? Is it worth it's not, it? It's not a constant boss battle. In fact, yeah. if it was constant boss battles, it would have been better uh -huh. because it's all the stuff in between the boss battles mm. that get a little grindy. Really? That's what we need. Yeah. Shadow of Colossus in VR. Absolutely. Ah, that would oh, be crazy. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll take it PS2 style, frame rate problems and all. Good, uh, the fuck was the last one? The thingy. The oh, Last Guardian? Uh, the yeah. Last Guardian. Oh, thank you, yeah. yes. That VR yeah, that demo on that was yeah. really good. Really good. And that gave a really nice sensation of, whoa. Yeah, if it wasn't for the teleportation to the, like, the set locations, the things, yeah. it would have been awesome. Yeah, it would have been great. I think it's still going on in VR. Yes, absolutely. The, the story in Skyrim is not the reason you play Skyrim. No. Exploring the world is why you play Skyrim, and exploring the world is what you do best in the VR. So. I feel like we did three episodes of why we love PlayStation yeah. VR about this, <laughs> yeah. and, and on every single episode, I said, "Screw the story! I just want to run out into the." Yeah. Into I've the never wilderness. completed uh, an you... Elder Scrolls story in any of them, and I've played so much and bought them several times over the same title on different platforms, yeah. and never completed. And I, I can't say for sure because you might be this massive completeness, but you may still find things that you didn't see the first time around. Yeah, because just. Just the fact of like walking around, exploring every nook and cranny. Um, yeah, I, I found whole. I thought I had nailed everything. There's whole storylines I completely missed the first time through. So, who who are we who are we targeting this towards? Is that Hatham still? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Uh, do wipe it. LZ Anta, level fifty, and he hasn't even fought the first dragon yet. I did what? that. I did at least one dragon. Two, I think, yeah. actually. And then uh, I'm Abs he's gonna buy Abs it. York. Abs York. Uh, A B V S Y York. I don't know. Uh, did I play Wipeout Omega? I did. I had tweaked the comfort settings a little bit, um, but absolutely loved it. So, yeah, d like, there's all sorts of different variations you can do on the comfort settings. So if you think, like, everything off and everything on, um, there's actually a lot of shading in between. So experiment a little bit more. Um, I couldn't do with everything off, but there was kind of a sweet spot for me where I could sit and play for four hours without a problem. Yeah, if, so, you, want, if you want to get more in-depth on that, um, yeah. do a YouTube search of why we love PSVR. Wipe out a mega collection <laughs> because Des and I talked about that game for like 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my one of my more favorite episodes. Oh, okay. Yeah, good stuff. Do you find you get less nauseous if you turn the speed down? You know, like the accuracy of the speed. Like if you turn. No, your head. it wasn't that. It was just like the head the head tracking versus the vehicle tracking. Like okay. if if you did like the, the the head tracking inside. Nope, Des was Des was done. Ah. But as long as I, I locked my view to the ship, it was great. You're good. And that, and that, that was my favorite thing was locking my view to the pilot. Yeah. Which which meant which meant that every single turn, like the, the camera turned, everything was moving mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. So I was like, we're racing on roller coasters. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, not not for Des. Not so for maybe maybe that's it. I mean, I can't speak for your experience, but yeah, just there's a lot of settings to tweak. So mess around a little bit. Yeah, for sure. So many people that do get motion sickness. I, I've seen tons of comments from people mm -hmm. saying, I get motion sickness. Wipeout did not make me sick. Yep. Nope. So, yeah. They did a great job. Yeah, mess around with it. Yeah, it was a shot. Wipeout was solid. Was gave hungry. such a I am great. Hungry. Yeah, well, I just ate a little something on my ride over. <laughs> Got to update the nameplate. <laughs> Jeez, guys, we're, actually, we're... no, my name is Michelle. Yeah, no, the, game, the nameplate's just there for, for aesthetics <laughs> at this point. Um, let's see. We got this. Transference. Oh, wait. This is my review for Transference. Oops. I downloaded the wrong file. Oh, Whoa. Hold on a second. Actually, screw it. We'll just leave this running. <laughs> Actually, and you know what? So, for, for, for a game that I really, really loved, mm -hmm. I kind of screwed up on this review. Okay. Because it's it's this is probably my favorite PlayStation VR game of the year so far. Wow. It's only two hours long. Okay. But it is awesome, two hours. Yeah. And... I screwed up with my review only because I didn't show anything cool. I was trying to avoid all spoilers. Yeah. But instead, all I did was show environments and let people hear the sound, which is an amazing sound yeah. design. Mm -hmm. But like, I didn't. 
I should have shown something a little bit more exciting. Uh, so I, I think I went right. too far trying to avoid okay. spoilers. Because this looks like a very many other exploring a room kind of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and for the most part it is. But yeah. but there are moments where characters like there are characters in the room. Sometimes there are there are things that run at you. There are there are um, there that are jump scares. Thingy with the red eyes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, and, and I was kind of like, I didn't want to spoil that, yeah. you know, but but maybe I maybe I should have. I don't I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so uh, transference is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Elijah Woods game, and uh, and and I man, I just want more of it. You know, right. hopefully Ubisoft sees fit to maybe like. Do so Elijah, more. we know you're watching. Please, uh, <laughs> we know it. That. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wood. Yeah. <laughs> We're not on a first name basis anymore. Asked Whatever him. happened to Wilfred? After the party. Is that show still on? Wilfred was awesome. I loved it. Yeah. I tried watching the actual British version. The same dude was in the dog. Not interested. But not the same. No, not, not nearly yeah. as good. Maybe it's just because I like Elijah Wood, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I never saw Free Willy. Gotta go. All right. Bye, Mega Man Cat Canaveral. Oh, wait. What? Who? Oh, Mr. Game Cat Canaveral. Wow. I Who's need leaving? new glasses. Well, on, on, apparently on Twitter. News for you. Oh. We'll see ya. News for me. T- Twitter, Twitter deems this important for me to know. Okay. News for you. Judge deems Bill Cosby a sexually violent predator. I didn't know that. Cool. It's like, thanks, Twitter. Why? 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 I. This is why I don't like Twitter. You can't turn <laughs> off like random notifications. I can't. See, I can't seem to only oh, hear okay. important stuff. We kind of knew he was a sexual deviant Bill- and predator after uh, we found out he had a suitcase of drugs and. Gave these girls. Wait, I have a suitcase of drugs. <laughs> well, you're not Hunter S. Thompson, but yeah. <laughs> the opinions of this channel. Right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how I need to find a way to, to fix my Twitter settings because yeah. I don't want to see this kind of stuff. I just want to see d- when like Mad Men and Black tweets. I just shut them all off, and then when when I'm ready to go visit Twitter, then I open up the app and I look at the notifications. Then because yeah, probably yeah. I just I, re- I do social media on my time, not yours. Time <laughs> for sure. My uh, social media is also retweeting Mad Men's tweets. That's all. That's pretty much all I see you do. Yeah. The Inkman trailer is not. Well, he's like got a cover. He's got it all down. He's like, hey, check out this week's uh, thing. Thank, 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 thank. And I'm like, I couldn't even say that better. Retweet. What, what's the aim controller coming? Uh, oh he yeah. Wants to know where he can hey, get thumb. it. Um, Amazon is blocked in his country, and it's not available in his country. Um, wait, wait. Well, what kind? Of, who is this? Yeah, this is it's Haytham. Haytham. So, so Haytham lives uh, in Iraq. Okay. Because oh. they blocked and, everything there. The Amazon. And so, so we don't know where to buy things in Iraq. Or, yeah. or where to buy things online yeah. that would ship to Iraq. If anyone in the chat does know, please, please help them out. Yeah. Please. Um, who do I know? You know what? I do you know? Uh, don't t- do you know somebody that lives there? I don't know someone who lives in Iraq, but I know someone who works in the works in the industry. Let's say. Um, Which industry? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the, the the suitcase industry. <laughs> the yeah. people who work in Iraq the industry. Um, this sounds something way more sinister than it actually is. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, um, I'm intrigued. So I, I, um, I'll ask him if he knows how to get that kind of stuff because he actually also has a VR. So this is sounding very, very yeah. deviant. Yeah. So um, yeah. uh, someone remind me later, and I will. But try is this to something out. where hey, th- they're gonna like come to his house? Ah, oh, aim controller. You know, is like you gonna get in trouble for that? <sighs> can you not buy it, but you can own it? Can hate them type of thing? Is I don't think that's an, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's just getting it there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is eBay not a thing? Well, that's what some people have said in the chat, too. Okay. So, I mean, is eBay uh, even a thing? I don't know how to use that site. <laughs> okay. Well, Hatham, um, yeah, there's probably tons of ways to find out how to use eBay um, available. So, yeah, check to see if you can get to eBay. And if you can, then you'll absolutely be able to buy pretty much anything you want. Shipping's ever. just going to suck. Shipping's going to suck. Yeah. But, I mean, if you've already gotten yourself a PSVR in Iraq somehow, then I think you probably have the means to... Yeah, where did yeah. you get the PSVR headset from? Because <laughs> I feel like that's the same avenue you should be exploring. Right. Mm. Um, got, <coughs> we also right. got last week the honor in duty. Woo! <laughs> duty. D-Day. Double kill. Yeah. Uh, D-Day, D-Day beta. Uh, mm. So this is playable in VR and non-VR. I watched my dad play it a bit on, on, a, on a flat screen television. Uh, not nearly as immersive. No, I'll no, say that it wouldn't be. He was he was trying his best to seem enthused, and he yeah. was not uh, terribly. <laughs> but I will say, when when that thing starts, was, yeah. was that a, it's such a short thing. I, I wish Reggie would make a longer trailer. Um, Reggie, I like the look of it though. Oh yeah, I mean, have you played it? Uh, I haven't actually. I've, okay. I've seen, yeah. So what I was shocked about, I've been mm-hmm. seeing these videos and these trailers and stuff for months. Yeah. And uh, and what I was shocked about was when I put the headset on and I first went like 
not even the training stuff. Yeah. When I first went into the battlefield, and there were like other people running around, and there were like there were like things flying into the sky. There were I don't I don't know what they are like cannons shooting into the sky. I'm not sure what. Yeah. Um, artillery. Sure. Yeah. Something. Yeah. And then like planes flying by, like, and I'm like, what? What's you know? And like and, yeah. and just there's so much happening mm-hmm. just like three people drove by in a jeep i was like what, what was it you know, so <laughs> everywhere, everywhere you looked there's like there's stuff happening it's yeah. non-stop and i was just like man like there's a lot going on right now like it just felt like fuck the, fuck the cartoon graphics right the, the amount of things that were going on because because well, the graphics were cartoon well, exactly that's what the graphics buys you yeah. oh my god yeah. I, I was like i feel like i'm on a battlefield with yeah. like it's 16 v 16 it's insane right. well perfect example last week we talked about torn you know it's just like okay everything looks great yeah. but there's so much stuff in there that if you move too much of it everything slows down and you make the choice to be graphically a little simpler but st- you know what it's still like it's using geometric shapes and straight lines but it looks good you can do both oh yeah you can have sure. both and but yeah that buys you the chance to have 16 v 16 and not bring your system to a grinding halt and even better yeah. um uh reggie strange games uh, there's there's a uh, there's a battle royale mode in this game now. He's just, oh, okay. They're like, okay, this is what you guys wanted. He's like, we put a battle royale mode in, nice. and, and they actually like they mess with it. Yeah. it's not it's not the same basic formula that, like that all the other battle royales use. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's the shrinking circle, you know, like yeah. you know you want to stay out of that. But but when you get killed, you get exiled outside of the circle. And mm-hmm. then when you're outside of the circle, if you kill enough people... Oh, you can get back in? You get back in. Nice. So great! Right? So Because yeah. I, cause the, what I hated about yeah. Rec... The only thing I hated about Rec Royale, really, mm-hmm. is that like I'm I, I'm bad at games. Right. I'm not sure why people <laughs> allowed me to play these things. Um, but, but I die early. Yeah. And so I'm just sitting there waiting for like 20 minutes while yeah. everyone else finishes up. And that's, I'm like, oh, man. Fun. So it's awesome to be like, hey, I get to keep shooting mm-hmm. and I actually work my way back in. Oh, that's great. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And my voice is in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I haven't actually heard it. I don't yeah. know, but, you know. So Haytham answered. He said his dad bought it for him when he went to uh, um, what was that Europe? And I want yeah. to uh, make things clear again. Iraq is nowhere like in the news. It's completely yeah. safe and it's a normal country, but people th- just think it's a war zone. Oh yeah, we don't we don't actually think of it that way. I mean, no, no. no I, I was just saying. Like, I just don't with know the, the, the restrictions you have on yeah. your internet. Clearly, things are going to be difficult for you. So, yeah. and I'm saying, like, my again, this sounded way more sinister. I have a friend who works for a contractor uh, uh, in there, and so he's used to having to be creative with how to get things. So, still sounds man, very it sinister. still yeah. sounds so bad. <laughs> There's no good way. Of I just, it. it's just that I don't know how much I'm able to say about what he does. They're going to um, be searching for so, your friend now, I Des. Know, right? uh, this is just. Ignore everything we said. Go to eBay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and let's move on yeah. to the oh, wait. final trailer. Of last Somebody week. asked what photo, creepy face behind Dez. Oh. There's several of them. Yes. I wasn't sure which. But, but they're mostly from the same thing. That was uh, <laughs> the artist there. Where was he from that so, drew the, the uh, game cat? Oh, God. Why do I want to say like Illinois or something? That doesn't seem right at all. Yeah. Is Illinois is fun to say. I, I don't know. I forget where he's from. Ohio? Maybe. He's I want somewhere to say with an O. Yeah, um, that that is that is so. There's a, there's a guy. Uh, co- he's called the Sign Guy. You can find the Sign Guy, 1973. I'm gonna get that wrong. Uh, he's on he's on Instagram, and he does he he tags all over his city work just what? like this. What? It yeah, just com- restarted. Your computer just had to restart. Uh, Jeremy's no longer so, in the so chat. So chat's down for a little bit, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so and, and and so he he uh, he sent us this. This yeah, is uh, this, this is his artwork. Uh, he draws his cat all over his city, but he drew, he drew it with a PSVR headset on and yeah. uh, and painted it and, and sent it to us. Uh, we tried to use it as the logo for a while, yeah, but it didn't it didn't come through very no, well. Too difficult right. to see in the little circle there, of tiny what? little circle. And yeah. so, as generic as the PSVR headset is that I've got right now, yeah, it, it gets the job done. People are like, yep. oh, PSVR, yep. got it, yeah. Uh, and that's Death Note um, from Eight Bit Boutique. Does a neat. Really neat 3D type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I've found so on Instagram much good now. Stuff. Just yeah, have you seen the little um, pool tables? Uh, uh, no. He, is it he or she? I I, I don't know. It's a he, I believe. He? Yeah, yeah they, they're like little like crafted like pool, pool tables, tables, but with that same like level of depth. And yeah, it's just amazing. And of course, the only reason we know anything about Eight Bit Boutique, Mad Men and Black the Game Cat. Yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. Right. Yeah. And I, by the way, because he sent he sent that to us. The right? prices yeah. of what he charges. So inexpensive. I, yeah. I saw a place recently that did this, except not for video games, just for like everything else, apparently. 
They were two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred. They were a wide array. The most least exp- actually it was at the uh, art art on the street or whatever you call that. There was somebody that had some there too, and they were hundreds of dollars, even for small simple ones too. Yeah. So those, this guy's amazing yeah. work, and it is affordable. Absolutely. It's like every time he makes a new one, and you know, Madman <sighs> posts it, and then I retweet I it. I want every single one of them. I want to buy. Crazy. I know the, the Zelda ones look the amazing. The Zeldas look awesome. Yeah. It's like I don't know if I want the Dark World map or the Light World. <laughs> You know, it, it's it's sick. They're all awesome. Uh, Cornerstone City wants to know. He hears you in honor and duty. And seven, wants seven, to know, seven. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Cornerstone City. Um, is he playing? Are you playing? Or are you just a voice? Like, are you, are you, are you in there a lot playing? Or no, uh, I I haven't been in there since like day one of the beta for for the most part uh, because there's too much other stuff to do. Um, there, this has been the most insane couple weeks of PlayStation VR releases in quite a while. Yeah. In fact, we're not even through last week's releases, and we're halfway through the show. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so no, I just haven't had time, unfortunately. I do want to get back in today, hopefully, um, just to play uh, experiment with the Rec Royale, Rec yeah. Royale, Battle Royale mode. Uh, but, but no, no, that is my voice. Uh, somebody said. Some, somebody said, "Hey, I heard your voice. I thought you were on my team." Actually, <laughs> oh, okay. That was Grim Catnip. The Did game you cat. hear? Um, who's the guy in uh, Overwatch that says "High Noon"? The the cowboy character. I never You're watched or played right. Overwatch. People. Well, basically, like he has this power move that basically can like kill anyone on the map. So there's a great article about the voice actor who did that. And basically, like when he's going to do his power move, he says, "It's High Noon," and so he would sit there playing you know not under his real name and just yeah. say that randomly and just freak out everyone on the map <laughs> nice. like, oh god yeah that's so, great anyways and i had the chat and just lost it but anyways people are, are, are oh. <laughs> i love that that computer decided right yep. now to it's the slowest computer of all time it barely <laughs> works the only thing it can do is run the chat window it can't yeah. even like watch the stream yeah. it's still at zero percent yeah oh yeah no that's not coming back today <laughs> that, that is the end of that that's computer. like my iphone back at home i'll see that fucking next week it asked me when i started it up today it asked me when i wanted to do the update and i was like much later and apparently it was like it asked me too do you want to do this in an hour from now and i'm like ask me later because it was like it's like start okay now do it i will like, ask you later, later. <laughs> i'm gonna do it but i'm asking yeah. later uh so i just want to point out that um to know is to die and uh, other people are helping out um uh, motor with the whole oh, nice. thing, so thank awesome. you very much. Sweet. Best community on the internet, absolutely. Yeah, oh, no, the GameCats are fucking awesome. Uh, and, and speaking of the GameCats, let's finally talk about the last game that came out yeah. last week. And yes. it will that will that transition will last make sense, week. I promise you. Um, <laughs> it's here somewhere. I was looking. I was look, Oh no, it's right there. It's already. I out. realize this is like the third or fourth time you've done the this week thing, and I have not caught it until just now. I can't stop. I'm just smart. now. It's just like theater, and anytime anybody theater. says weak, and thanks to theater. Trump, if I hear the word China, all I think is China. <laughs> so the door VR, I think of the wrestler, came out last week. PlayStation VR. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, she, she's she's, a, to, she's a wonderful wrestler. I went to a special place. Okay. Oh, I was thinking um, Mickey, Mickey Rourke, the wrestler. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So this is this is a new escape room game uh, called the door. The door. Yep. Oh, that's a, that's an interesting and innovative. Innovative. In the VR space. Yep, very much. And uh, and I gotta say, like, I know you weren't the biggest fan of like Dying Reborn, but if yeah. anybody out there was a fan of Dying Reborn, holy crap, this is like a, a, a nice huge step up from that, mm-hmm. but very very similar somehow. Oh, yeah. no. Um, it's it doesn't have any of like the, it really doesn't. Dying Reborn had a few issues where I was like, man, like, I almost couldn't progress at a certain point because yeah. like the the game just was like glitchy. Uh, but man, this is a solid, solid game. It's got five different rooms. They are all connected. Okay. Uh, and, and there's a like an overarching story uh, that's being told the entire time. It is definitely on the creepy side. Mm-hmm. Um, Looks it. Yeah, there's a few jump scares. Uh, the graphics are really nice, at least on the pro. Um, well, the puzzles look a little more sensible already. Like my, my biggest <laughs> issue with Dying Reborn wasn't the graphics or even the glitchiness necessarily. It was just the puzzles were so obtuse and just... They didn't make any logical sense. You yeah. couldn't puzzle your way through it. You just had to figure out so what the, the... No real world sense to yeah. get you through it. You had to like think yeah, outside well, the box, I, so to speak. I will say, uh, one of the last puzzles I saw... So I, I was doing... I Polish did like Paul a, says it's very overpriced. So that's where we're going with this, yeah. Polish Paul. Polish Paul couldn't get out of the first room. He did a three-hour stream. <laughs> He'd never get out of the first room. I was out in like... 30 minutes. Wow, Brian, that's good for you. It's I, it's all because of our it's all because of the awesome game cats. Yeah. The game cats are you. way smarter than I am. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I had a list of everybody Turn who was the in that door room. handle, I should, Brian. I should stream a puzzle game just from go. 
just with nothing in. Sure, that'd be fun. Oh, okay, absolutely. Uh, but but it's I will say when you get stuck on a puzzle while live streaming, it's so much uh, more frustrating because yeah. you're like I'm trying to be entertaining, but That's all I can my do is fear. Be like, What's, why can't I figure this out? Yeah, I look like so, an idiot. Everybody's watching. Yeah, yeah it's that's stressful. So thank fucking Christ for he watches too. He does for <laughs> for hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. Hot, hotcakes helped out. He's uh, very informative. Also Twi- in the chat, Twix was in Twix was in the chat helping yeah. out. I I, I don't the even left know. or the right. I, I don't oh, know. that's Kit Kat, Did, isn't it? No, Twix. Twix. Is, two. is that the whole left and yeah. right? Yeah, Kit Kat has four or yeah. something. I just learned of this rival release. Yeah, you lately. really have to fix your supply chain problems because yeah. that's that's wait, really wait. inefficient. Wait, wait, wait. What what rivalry? That's their that's their whole like commercial thing. Their whole advertising thing is that there's the left Twix company and the right Twix company, and you're supposed uh, to decide if you want the left Twix or the right Twix. Okay, I, I think I saw, I stopped watching TV around the time that that became started becoming a thing. Yeah, no, it's a huge thing with my kids now. Like we went to um to Six Flags this weekend. They were handing out candies, and they were actually like, no, no, I, I don't want left Twix. <laughs> like, no, dudes, this is. I learned of this. Uh, my girlfriend's birthday was the other last week, and like there was a there it says two left twixes and i'm like well what's that and yeah. she went through the whole fucking thing she's like it's very ironic because two left twixes and then there's two left twix see and i so i was like so, ah so polish paul says uh, yeah it's because everyone knew the solutions by the time you streamed it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we, uh dave we, gonzalez says shots fired we so we actually we, we we went through the whole process man like we we yep. looked through we struggled through through the puzzle yeah and actually when when we got to the end of the first room where it's like there's a code you have to put in uh to to get out of the first room mm-hmm. uh, they we it was like a four digit code and man they were numbers all over that room there were yeah. dates and numbers and blah 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 and like blood on the back of photographs and like and 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 men when we struggled yeah we struggled we tried everything and and men like people were looking online to mm-hmm. cheat couldn't find anything online right. but man wow. we we had a couple fucking very smart game cats because uh they were like they were, I, I i'm not gonna ruin the solution for you yeah but but man when it when they when they gave me the correct number mm-hmm. i said that's fine it worked but i'm not progressing until you explain why <laughs> <laughs> because cause i couldn't i couldn't figure it out on my own yeah. but when they gave me the explanation of why they got to that conclusion yeah. i was like that makes perfect sense yeah that makes perfect sense and i just wish i was smarter to have figured it out on my own Berber mm-hmm. cat wants to know what was the rowing boat game of the puzzle you spent three hours on sea of that? memories sea of, oh and, and actually oh yeah there it is uh <laughs> nicolo 24 got it <laughs> all right i should read all the comments Yep. So, uh, we we during the Sea of Memories live stream. This is why I love live streaming. Yeah. Because because I live stream Sea of Memories for three hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get stuck on one puzzle for two of those hours. Oh my god. And um and and we helped a thirteen year old boy. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, that was that one. Yeah. Get, get, yeah. Over, yeah. get over his. Uh, I wonder his, how he's his, doing. Yeah, his crush breaking up with him. Oh, we see him all the time. Yeah. Sweet. You're elite gaming. Hey. Oh, is that who it is? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you see your elite gaming, uh, um, yeah. he's 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 he's. He's always got a new love interest. He should. So, oh, so I never feel. I never feel too bad if something right. doesn't work out for him. I was going to say he moves on very quickly. Nice, yeah. good. Yeah, should tell her your your nice? I, I, uh, YouTube uh, commenter sensation, right? Mm. That might get you in a little bit more. Yeah, right. It's like I'm famous. In two, the... a thousand people help me get over you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. There's uh, someone's helping someone. That I don't understand the context. So moving on. Uh, have you guys seen that 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 meme with like it's got the keypad and it's all those people saying like how you could figure out what the code is? It's like it's it's a picture of a keypad and like you know someone says well these four numbers are worn so it's going to be you know sure. those four numbers and someone else says well yeah and then you can say you know it's like a nine eight and one and seven it's like oh well, it's probably nineteen eighty seven because it's the age of and it all it goes back and forth people saying oh well, that's how Sherlock Holmes would do it and the last comment is well yeah but the light's green the lock is already open and someone's like oh yeah there's the Watson. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Okay. So it'd be funny if you knew what I was talking about. It, it would have been way funnier <laughs> if you knew you're talking about. And finally, this game came out this week, and, and, so and it's time weird. to talk about this. This game. When I was your lightest age, my biggest love interest was my hand. Thanks, Jamie. Al. That'll never. Yeah. <laughs> still, still Always. Mine. Yeah. Of yeah. course. And it'll never let me down. Everyone else is secondary. Yeah. But if you use your left hand, it feels like it's someone else. I'm a lefty though. Okay, then use your right. My right hand's useless. I can barely cut <laughs> steak with it. It's like... So no, it ain't gonna get the job done the way I like it. So this game came out this week. <laughs> oh, this game! Yeah. 1% everybody! Hooray, Windows! Alright, 
So Creed Rise to Glory. Oh yeah, this came out this week. Uh, yeah. My review went up uh, today. Yep. Uh, if anyone was wondering why my review came out like twelve hours after the game came out, yeah. Um, <laughs> <Funny test. laughs> it's a it's, Servio's had an interesting uh, embargo. The game yeah. came out at, at midnight, mm-hmm. but since they sent me the game three days early, uh, I still followed their embargo, which was ten a.m. today. And I was okay. like, so everybody on my friends list was playing this all night long. Yeah. And, but I was still under embargo. I was like, I've never seen this before. Strange. Like, I've never seen this before, like, before I started reviewing games or since. And this is the strangest thing ever. Uh, Aless, we changed to noon. Uh, oh, Ale- oh Alessandro. Sorry, I should read the whole name. Uh, so, yeah, we changed to noon about two Alessandra. weeks ago. Basically, they, they did it for me um, because it's the only way I, I could do it. Um, so thank you, guys. You're um, welcome. Yeah, yeah uh, we... That's a, a less true and false game cat. Oh, he's Andrew. OG yes, yes, big yeah. time. No, I, I saw Alice always and then was, kind of always yes. will be. He's yeah, one of o- them. Aless is awesome. Uh, yeah. been there since pretty much day one. Yes, yeah. before we were in PSVR. Way yeah. long before, before that. And uh, <laughs> back when we had true or false. But yeah, in, 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 in Michelle's absence, uh, this, this show only feels right when there's three people here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just kind of get sick of Jeremy. Let's be honest. Yeah. He does. I, need, I, need, I needed a buffer between <laughs> us. Uh, so. So so yeah so does his schedule change just just enough uh, yep. so that we we could get him on the show if we uh, if if we did this an hour yep. earlier uh, I don't like it because I don't like getting out of bed an hour <laughs> earlier uh, but I don't mind it it's less stress on the time for when I have to race to get to the school to right. get them off the which is uh, the same thing for me yeah yep. yep. Uh, Grim Cat at the Game Cap just gave us uh, a donation thank you so hey, much thank congrats you. to Dave he beat four of us in last night's bout nice Dave Station. I guess uh, so. I'm guessing. Come on, God! Yeah. I played Dave like five times last night. Yeah, uh, he he he, I, he barely got a punch in. I gotta really? try this. I gotta Brian. try DVP. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to spoil my okay. chewy, but uh, so you know yeah. what? I think it's, I think it's time to begin the show. Okay. Uh, an hour and three minutes into it, <laughs> uh, the way we begin every show with a little game of should we or shouldn't we? We put ninety seconds up on the clock. Put the clock up on the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. It's nice and cool out. Why are you so sticky? It's, it's cold out. Okay. Uh, and it wasn't a sticky sound. It's just. And it's uh, our time to tell you it's our your time. time. Our time down, down here. Here. <laughs> Up Fucking there. Christ, God we can never goodness. get away from this. Uh, with what we've been playing and or watching, and whether you, the loyal game catch, really should or should not be playing the things we've been playing and or watching. I'm so late on that. Meow. Meow. <laughs> just, just do it all the time, and you'll okay. Okay. Yeah. eventually. Yeah. Eventually, it'll work. It's like yeah. the, the clock. Uh, it'll yeah. the broken clock will be right twice. Des, do you want to go yeah. first? Uh, I guess so. Good, on your mark. Hit set, go. <laughs> go. Uh, so yeah, my, my should we or shouldn't we is um, nice segue, Creed. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> weird. Weird that that came up. Yeah, it, it's I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm so sore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is one thing. If you play it, and this is a problem that you're going to have like with any game where you're punching and not actually making contact with things, it's super easy to hyperextend your, your elbow because you're not actually yeah, stopping yeah, yeah, when you yeah. think it's going to. So pull those punches a little bit because um, it's really based on the speed that you throw the punch and actually the, the, the force you throw it with. Um, but yeah, it's it's fantastic. Um, you know, there was a Knockout League. Yep. Yeah, and w- which was fine, but it was more kind of gamey, kind of Mike Tyson's punch out where you had a to... A very, very yeah. puzzle arcade Right, it was physical, but you had to do things in a certain way. It wasn't really... And this is... It's not there, but it's much closer to an actual fight. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's it's fantastic. Uh, definitely spend time in the training things because the training things will actually build up how, how your your stamina. I did haven't had a chance to play the PvP yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it. And I got 30 seconds left. Oh my gosh, what do nice. I do? How far did you get in the campaign? How far did I, I get? I know in you the haven't had a ton of time I to did, play this. So I played it on easy first, and I finished the campaign. But that's not really saying much. I think the easy is pretty easy. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to going through it again. And actually, the, some of the training things are awesome. I wish I could port them to uh, the fencing club, yeah. especially the one. There is one that doesn't show up in the game training, but shows up. You've got the the uh, bag and like <clears> six <throat> lights. Do it. All right, and you've got to punch the, the lights in the right pattern in succession. Yeah. And that's actually exactly like a training tool I've wanted to buy for the club for ages. Huh. Uh, yeah. Meow Dow, J Dow, Justin Sadowski, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you. Yeah, and he can't wait to beat you up in Greed. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this is a, this is apparently becoming a thing. Yeah, Pocket Monkey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Uh, he said hyperextension of forces no bueno. Yeah, seriously. You can really do yourself some damage. So I feel like I've, I feel like I've been playing Spark. Like the, yeah. I, I, we, oh, yeah. When we were all playing Spark like every single night for, mm-hmm. for months and months and months, um, Like I mean, I remember just like, it would be 3 a.m., I told the story a million times. Yeah. It'd be like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I'd be laying in bed, and I'd be like, I'd be falling asleep, 
and, I, and I'd hear a notification go off on my phone, and I'd look, and it would be like, it'd be JD Max uh, 1210 the Game Cat, and, uh, and, and he'd be like, hey, you up for some spark? And I'm like, well, fuck, I was about to go to bed, but yep, I'm down, <laughs> yeah. I'm down. You get the towels all ready and stuff because you know you're going to sweat, and well, you don't want to slip on the floor in your own sweat. And that's the thing, like, it's been pretty cool here, so I came in... Um, I came in from dropping my, my uh, kids off at the bus stop. And so I still had a, a, a sweatshirt on. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try out this Creed thing. You know, I'm playing the, t- the, the demo, the tutorial stuff. Like, yeah, this is fine. And then into my first bout, I'm like, okay, everything is running off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, in fact, let me, let, me, uh, let me just dive right into... Uh, oh, wait, that's not what I want to do. Nope. I'm going to dive right into mine on my mark, get set, and mm, go. go. Uh, so, yeah, I'm also obviously going to talk about Creed Rise to Glory. Um so here's here's the thing. I, I said a lot of great things about it in my review. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that Dave Station and I uh, did last night. I, mean, I, I played a bunch of people last night. I played a bunch of random people. I played a bunch of people uh, that we know. Um, but Dave had, was having issues with blocking, and uh, yeah. But in PvP, yeah, it doesn't seem to quite work as well or as consistently as it okay. does in the campaign. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't mention it in my review because I played so much PvP last night that like I didn't. I didn't feel. It's not. It doesn't seem like an issue until you stop and go. Is this an issue? Yeah. But like while I'm playing, I'm like I don't know. Some some punches are landing. Some some blocks are blocking. I, right. I, yeah. I don't know. Like I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to like put an opinion in stone yeah. where I was like something's wrong here. When I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know, I'm, I'm yeah. not really seeing it all the time, you know. So I, I'm sure Servios is on the job and uh, and looking into patching it and trying to like make this as good of a gameplay as experience as possible. But my biggest complaints with the game were, wasn't that. That was fine. I was like, whatever. I'm yeah. gonna go beat the crap out of some people, win, lose, who cares? Um, talk a lot of shit though. <laughs> um, is that why am I quick turning in a boxing ring? Yeah. Right. I'm like pushing this and I go boom. And then I push yeah. this way and go boom. I'm like, no. I, I want to focus on the guy in front of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why aren't those buttons like? Like circling around him. Why? Why are we well, not? There or is quick so. If you go through this tutorial, there is a sort of like motion you can do. Yep. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. So so advanced locomotion. Yeah. Advanced is, locomotion. Is this yeah. like like do the California Raisin dance? Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you, it never worked as well as the the non advanced locomotion scheme okay. did for me. Uh, I couldn't move around the room as or around the ring as fast as I wanted to, with with the sprint vector kind of default setting. Yeah. I could, I could really, man, I could, I could, I could really do some like quick dodges, and people, I could punch and like pff, move out of the way real fast. Yeah. But like, again, why isn't there just a button? I don't need quick turning at all. Like, just give me a button to to go. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> yeah. so give, give me some, give yeah. me some leg work in these buttons. So I didn't move. I didn't move at all. Like, I mean, like my character, I moved like dodging my physical person. I stayed yeah. in one place punching, and that was fine for me. But maybe it was because I was only on the easy levels. But that's not it, how. But that's not how boxing works. Yeah. Right. It's that's like true. yes, that's how. That's how right. fun, punching each other in the face works. Yeah. But that's not how like moving around the ring and like using it to your no, advantage works. True. And I feel like when you back someone into a corner in this game, yeah, it really, really backs someone into uh, a corner. Grim cat. Grim Cat and the Game Cat, sorry, says hit triangle. It focuses on the target. No, no, and I told that's a thing that you got to use constantly. Yeah, but but why is but, it there? But but I feel like the triangle should be default. Like it should always be focused on the target, and your in your in your move buttons should like you know. Does your the strafe around your opponent. opponent have free access to the entire ring or like punch out? Are they kind of concentrated in front of you to a degree? No, I mean they. To, free, total access. Oh, yeah. free everywhere. They can they can move around as much as they want, and you can too. Uh-huh. It's just it just the controls just don't seem. I it's it's like they took Sprint Vector and put and put it into a boxing ring. Okay. Yeah. I was like, why why didn't you just kind of come up with a new movement scheme? Right. So you can also move forward, back, left, right oh, as yeah. well. Now, how does that work in the controller? Well, as Des was saying, there's an advanced locomotion scheme where you kind of like do this like little dance. Yeah. Which is funny when you watch somebody do it in PvP. Yeah. Because yeah. people are like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I know you go through like throwing these jabs, Jolson. <laughs> like a little dance yeah, around yeah, the yeah. ring, you know. And so, you, so you do this in the direction that you want to do it in. Okay. I want to. Cr- what, what I was doing was the sprint vector <laughs> motions, where I was like, you know, oh, pushing backwards, I or, see. or doing, you know, the full like skiing yeah. motion. Yeah. Which I found again to move me around the ring faster, but in the weirdest possible way yeah so i mean maybe they're looking for you to dodge or an opponent where you go like this and then you click and you're right next to him facing him really quick again yeah it seems like that you know, but i'm like do that's... this to scoot and then you hit and you're right back there again it just, just to it snap. just seems cumbersome for no reason yeah cornerstone yeah. city 777 wants a i'm gonna guess that it's karate game not karaki <laughs> where you put two move controllers on your feet or is it bukaki no 
Move so controls on your feet, yeah, yeah, sure. There you go. Full, yeah. Full um, body, yeah, that's what we need is a full body suit. And then, uh, like, we're not sweating in this uh, game enough. I know, so someone was saying they already injured their arm, uh, long-term shoulder arm, but they can feel our pain without actually playing. So that was Barry Egan. So sorry about your arm, Barry. Yes, we feel your pain. And here's a question. Um, Lazanta says he wish it, they wished it supported the DS4. El Zanta. Uh, Sometimes you don't want to do all that moving around. Yeah. I'm, yep. I guess. I'm with him there on that. What? But a boxing game, I don't know. That's, so, that's totally fine. Uh, but you know, as as far as PvP goes, you'd have to. Oh God, no! I think it'd be like <laughs> tap R2 and L2, yeah, right? Yeah. Kind of that thing. Um, I, that would be fine, like for for the campaign. But you know, you have to you'd have to start splitting up the player base. Yeah. Uh, in in the PvP mode, uh, because you because you would be at a huge huge advantage if you're using the Dual Shock Four in this game. Yeah. And just kicking back on your what couch. Aim controller. <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> I feel like we should use the game controller for everything. Right. Um, and uh, and I, w- I would say that does it for, for this week's uh, series of games that came out. Uh, but but that's, that's not it. What's up? Well, uh, the Bukaki uh, Pocket Monkey says, the Bukaki game for Jeremy with move controllers on your dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. You guys doing rock, paper, scissors, slap? Sure. Oh, but oh. Was that the first time you ever slapped Des? It was. But, it, was it, but it won't be the last. <laughs> it's erotic. Uh, we also got the Grand Museum VR. I'm just looking at the store right now. Uh, we, did, we did include this on, uh, on, on this week. Um, but <laughs> but the, the st- How can I do this when we record? Uh, but actually, I... I, I listen, listen. I, I, what people don't know yeah. is how many takes <laughs> the introduction <laughs> to PSVR this week actually takes. It's so funny. I'm like... <laughs> I, I me, I, I'm thinking. You know, buy what? a damn ham sandwich. I'm pretty sure they've got this down pat, but I bet you they have to say it quite a bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it it looks good on camera. Yeah, but but behind the scenes, it's like God uh, damn it's it, it's a total mess. Yeah, and here we are, Brian Paul again. Nope, that wasn't right. And here we go. Uh, so uh, William Schultz on the Creed Rise to Glory review uh, just commented 29 minutes ago. He wrote a. Uh, he wrote, how does this compare to Knockout League? And as, as Des said... Two different games. Two very different yep. games. One's like playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, yep. and the other one is like playing Fight Night Round 3. Right. I yeah. mean, you're if, if it's like being physical and working out, you're worried about, you're going to get a pretty good workout from both of them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like uh, Creed is a little more of, I'm actually closer to boxing a real person. You've got to dodge. You know, they're not, they really aren't as predictable of patterns. You know, so um, neither one is overly arcadey. They're both yeah. kind of, and you can kind of like, like jab to low to let them make them drop their guard and hit. But there's not like hit me here. Although actually, I guess there is. Yeah, there when, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, uh, we did have a. Oh, actually, Jeremy, you're not getting out of this one. I was going to say, yeah, we were forgetting something. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we were. Anymore. Mark, get set, go. All right, I'm glad you said play and or watching. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremy had a busy week. Yeah, <laughs> as always. But um, being as though it was the the girlfriend's birthday, I had to. I saw this last week. Um, unfortunately, Predator. Oh, in the, the new one. Theater. Okay. Yeah. Theater. I really didn't want to. Theater. The first one was, of course, amazing, and yeah. you know it's her fucking favorite thing. So. Mandy was also coming out that same goddamn weekend, and I've been wanting to see that. Nick Cage movie Mandy for so like for about four or five months now it looks awesome. Wait, wasn't that also Spectre Vision? Um, Elijah Woods Studio. Forty-five seconds. Mandy, I don't know. I, I think it is. Is it? It looks sick. It it's looks also available awesome. on demand, right? It's not just in theaters. Well, that's the, the thing. The theaters. Yeah. So of course it came out in the th- and I'm like, all right, we'll see it next week. So we went to see Predator. My take on the Predator is that it was kind of garbage. So I gotta say, it is probably. One of the funniest movies I've seen in the theater in a long time. I've heard that. That's like yeah. a comedy is what people are saying. I I've heard that too. Fucking yeah. laughed. At first the dynamic of the you know, crew of insanity, like the dirty dozen, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't that many of them, but there was a couple of people and they were wacky, all like military prisoners because of varying reasons. And the dynamic at first was pretty annoying. But a few minutes in, you got it, you went with it, and it was funny. Although there was no threat. <clears throat> Yeah, but please. The Predator? No real threat. I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but um, 
they should have just stuck with the formula. Um, but you know how movies typically do bigger and badder. Tons of explosions and mass like continents being destroyed. But then, yeah. you know, like that type of movie. So they kind of in- introduced not like mass, you know, neighborhoods being destroyed, but they made. So they brought in the super predator type of thing, which okay. in the trailers is there, super predator. if you will, like oh. a mega hunter predator. Oh. And it's just invincible. It's just the the thing walks around like a cocky dickhead, you know, like struts. And he just is like kills stuff. So there's no threat. There's no like you can't combat that thing. Um, so it took that, you know, Arnold and this predator as two warriors. With At the end, remember, he took off his weapons and he fought Arnold, yeah. you know, yeah. like because it was like this thing doesn't care. It's right. just beyond. So uh, I, I can't say it was a great movie. I can't say it's a recommend that you should. Uh, but it was funny. Funny. And Mandy, yeah. those few days in also the theater, funny. gone. Oh, yeah. So now I have to see it on a small screen on demand, which I cannot wait for. But I gotta wait Mandy for her. was last month's catnip game sponsor, according to Grim Catnip, the game cat. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Every, it should every, be. every everybody was talking about Mandy. Yeah. Uh, I remember God can talking about it, Grim Hopefully. Catnip. Oh yeah, because uh, uh, yeah, we were mentioning it in the show too. Yeah, because well, there's, there's a VR component to it, isn't there? Isn't there some kind of? Not that I know. Of. It's not about VR at all. Uh, Mandy's. Uh, or maybe just because it's from Spectre Vision. Maybe, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe that's maybe that I was the connection know. Um, there. It just looks wicked trippy, fucked up, and it looks like a really good movie. Backing up a little bit, Pocky Monkey asked, uh, can you parry punches in Creed? You can block by holding your gloves up like that, but you can't like bat away at their punch. No. If they throw a punch and you don't have your hands up, you're, you're getting hit. I'm getting yeah, hit. And, uh, and, and I didn't even mention this in the review, but if, 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 if they threw a a solid punch at you like you know like a big heavy punch you and, and, you, and you dodge a slow mo- sometimes slow motion will, will kick in and then you can like really yeah. go to town on them which is which is nice what was that thing it looks like if you get hit hard enough you almost get out of your body in a sense yes. so when you get knocked out um, basically it's like an out of body experience and then and it, and it throws you way 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 out of the ring and you have to sprint back to your way all the way back right. before, oh, really? before the yeah. timer runs out huh. which is uh, actually I kind of out of all the interesting choice I think that's a nice one because yeah. you actually have the feel like oh I have to work hard and the kind of more damage you've take, taken the further you get knocked back that makes the sense because then you won and yeah. then you get back in the fight and you're a little yeah. bit less yeah. you're a little you, jello-y like, in if the you hour. have any rounds that go over more than one or two rounds you're starting to feel it it's like man I just want this to be over the, the, yeah, I believe the rounds are very strange too yeah. we, didn't, we didn't really talk about it's that it's not really timed like an actual round it's just right. so, at some point in the side okay that round's over right, if, you, right, if, yeah. if you get knocked out and then get back up yeah. that's the end of the round is there a certain number of hits oh, that, that each takes happening? before the round yeah. is okay. over <laughs> Right. Makes sense. It's not a certain number of hits. Um, like I, I think there is a timer going on in the background. So like if you're just chasing each other around the ring and nothing's happening, yeah. eventually the, the round will end. But but other than that, if there's a big moment where somebody gets knocked out, as oh. soon as that event's over. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. So Dave Station. Hey, Dave Station. Hey, says, uh, Mandy is not about VR. It's a death metal nightmare with cultists and revenge by Battle Axe. Oh, I guess so I, I will watch it then. That's right, why cool. when you said like VR, I'm like, really? Is that? No, I, I don't I don't know why. But is it Spectre Vision? Is anyone saying yes? It's I don't know. I think so. It, it is. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that um, was the connection that I was not getting. Let me see. Someone. There's a lot of people saying. Yes, Spectre Vision. Yes. Uh, to Nose to Die. Thank you. Man, To Nose to Die, you got all the answers today. <laughs> gold star for you well he, yeah, if he doesn't smart. know he's gonna <laughs> die yeah, the game the game cats are, are a smart bunch yeah. yeah i like that is that that has to be on the poster it's a death metal nightmare with cultist and revenge by battle axe davis well spoke does forge a battle axe i gotta i'm so excited to see this and i've been just like torturing myself now by waiting uh you guys want to you guys want to talk about a couple tgs news events here tgs absolutely sure tgs i was gonna say jeremy has no idea what TGS oh i know is. what it is Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. That's right. Uh, so last oh, week, God. last last oh, week yeah. we we watched um we watched three minutes was it or like hey bye, bye Haytham good luck finding the aim take it easy Haytham and we'll see ya uh so we we watched like three minutes I think or something like it was like an extended uh, amount of footage it was like mm-hmm. the most footage we'd ever seen yeah. of, of Ace Combat Seven yeah but but then they released like almost a full mission this is like not a full mission or whatever but it's a, but it's like seven minutes. Of gameplay footage, all in VR, and uh, and man, this looks absolutely incredible. It looks insane. Look at that! I know, right? Pl- there. Ah, ah. Right, right. Like, that's insanity. Yeah, you know, in in knowing in knowing Namco, that probably wasn't like a scripted event, or maybe it was a scripted event, but it wasn't just like some in, in VR. It can't just be like some CG happening in front of you, you know. Very interesting. 
So just a Dave Station. He's available to write copy for posters if anyone's hiring. And to know this to die, I died long ago. Now I'm just a shell with a VR helmet on. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you, and buddy. And bye, Gamertag. We'll catch you later. Hey, we'll later, GT. Ya. Yeah, I got, you know, after, so after what we didn't talk about, I'm going to just talk about um, Creed while this gameplay footage is running. Well, actually, this is actually on point. Uh, the Drunk Gamer says, you heard this now only has three VR levels to play. It's, it's you know, the, the messaging for this game has been so horrible. Yeah. Uh, Someone at, even said the entire game was going to be in VR. Duh. That wasn't that... Anyways. So, <laughs> that, like, when they when they first announced that this was going to have VR... A VR component. Yeah, uh, they they were saying like they were saying like upwards of like fifteen hours. Like there was gonna be there was gonna be this whole campaign, and the VR was gonna be a separate campaign. But it was, don't worry, it's gonna be like fifteen hours. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then like it came down, it was like okay, it's not gonna be fifteen hours. It's gonna be like five missions. Yeah. And they're like, well, how long are the missions? You know, and we don't know. And then then we heard three missions. And I'm like. Does this even have VR content anymore? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got, from what we know, it's got at least seven minutes because we've got actual we've proof got right here. Yeah. Um, so it's got actually seven minutes of VR. And if you pre-order the game, mm-hmm. you get Ace Combat Five for free, which I think was was that not a PlayStation Two game? Mm. Wasn't it the say, one with the gray cover? The gray, like the, the It was grayish. Yeah. 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 I, I they all kind of they all get confused in my head. Is was three Electrosphere? Oh was, God, I, I was don't know. four. Four was the first one on PlayStation Two, right? Four and five, and then well, there wasn't there a uh, no, there was not any spinoff, not a spinoff, but like a you're bringing back too many GameStop trading <laughs> moments right now. Where yeah, I'm no scanning idea. people, bringing in fucking oh, paper yeah, yeah. bags. Oh yeah, yeah. There was an Ace Combat X. Uh, so the, I'm dr- like a, the uns the unsung war. The okay, is that what it's called? Something. Yeah. And then yeah. there was then there was. Right. Oh, man, there's Ace Combat Zero. I don't know. There the was, Drunk there, Gamer is saying there's a free fly. Sound familiar. The three missions are a free fly, the takeoff one we see on the screen, okay. and an escort mission. That's it. That's it? That's that's what uh, he's claiming. I, I, I trust him implicitly. He heard it yesterday. Yep. All right. Well, uh, then that, that's what that's what we're going to get. Ace Com- Madman in Black says Ace Combat is going to be another Gran Turismo frowny face. Uh-huh. Well, in the de- in, in here's... In, probably right. In, 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 he's making a good comparison because no. what... Why Gran Turismo was so disappointing was because graphically it's phenomenal, yeah. and, and the tech running behind it is amazing, and it's just but it's just so limited. Yeah. And I think that's the exact same thing we're seeing here. We're like, wow, they created something amazing in VR, they just didn't go all the way with it. Yeah, yeah. it's like why not give us the full game, or sell us a separate game? Yeah, you know, like I'd ra- I'd rather wait a year and get a full game than than get a little tacked on. You know, here are your three missions. Too bad this wasn't just like, you know, a That's, taste of it, and they're going to release more later. So if you get the game, you just fucking, yeah. they'll patch it. and Like, yeah, you know. Po- Pocket Monkey okay. has a good point, too. It's like, chances are uh, both of them couldn't downgrade the graphics enough to keep up with the, you know, 60 FPS. But, but you can downgrade the graphics enough. You just keep downgrading until, right. until, until you it have works. Until you figure airplane. <laughs> right? <laughs> you, just, you just keep lowering the resolution, do whatever you got to do. Yeah. And the fact is that they, they made it playable. This on the, they showed this on the ground. They showed this in the air. They showed this with with other planes. They showed this with a lot of like cool set pieces yeah. happening. Yeah, it works. It works. And now it's it's just I think at a certain point Namco goes okay for the for the twenty thousand people that are actually going to use the PSVR component That's of this. Enough. It's just not enough of a, a, a payoff. Yeah, you know, there's just not enough people that are spending the money for the VR component. Um, and uh, and this is and this is what we start have have to start telling developers like when two thousand people buy Preta. You, you know, it's like the VR market just isn't big enough to support AAA like, titles. If I mean, if they take the risk, like I, I'm sure you guys all know the guy who has got the crazy like fight flight simulator rig in his house. You know, yeah. like yeah, three fifty inch screens, and you know, spend tens of thousands of dollars just to play one game. Yeah, yeah. if they can crank out a VR flight simulator mm-hmm. that guy is going to buy you know four ps4s and four headsets mm-hmm. just just to, so he has a backup yeah you know and the extra you know five thousand dollar add-on control scheme so like that market is there if you give them the content yeah that's the problem like you know like so, so many people bought bought a playstation vr headset because of firewall zero hour what did I ever do to you scott what happened scott Travis just said hi brian and Der- jeremy uh, maybe he's maybe he's Maybe, maybe he doesn't know who you are. Maybe he doesn't watch our other shows. You say, hey, Brian and Jeremy, and the other guy. Uh, <laughs> hey, you. Like, half the people think you're the same person. <laughs> that is true. That, I'm, I'm still shocked by that. Um, so, what were we talking about? Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, yeah. So, half the, like, the, the number of people who have commented on vi- our videos saying, 
I bought a PSVR headset because of Firewall Zero Hour. This is the game I was waiting for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. So it's like so. I mean, I I get it that like maybe you're you if if you make a full fledged Ace Combat game and for VR, mm. it's like maybe you're helping Sony more than you're helping your right. game. Yeah. But like, but if yeah, just like you were saying, if you make a game that makes people make people want it enough, right. then then the the consumers will be there. They'll, yeah. they'll find and, a way to, to buy your game. Oh, listen, I know. Yes, Flight Simulator is for Microsoft product, but I was just making an analogy. So yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's not for. I'm not saying Sony. You know, Mike Flight. Bleh, I'm not saying Flight Simulator has to come to PlayStation. I'm saying yeah, if yeah. they make a good Flight Simulator type, type game, game. Yeah. you will get that audience who will say, I don't care. What is it costs me? Is Microsoft still making flight simulator games? Oh, yeah, no. Seriously? Yeah. Are they for real? Oh my god! Yeah, uh, and it's just like my um, the reason I bring my cousin is one of those people, and like those he were has expensive. a room probably twice the size that is just his his gaming room, but it is his flight simulator. He's got the whole like seven forty seven. Like, really? Yeah. It's Does he great. actually fly as well? I know he doesn't have a license. Although now he um he flies drones. And Do actually, you think he like, could? I think he thinks he could. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going up with him. I think it's pretty badass that fucking uh, uh, Harrison Ford is like crashed a plane yeah. and walked away, pretty much. You know, badass. Yeah. Actually, Alton Brown also flies too. Who? Alton Brown, the the cook from Good Eats. Oh, okay, yeah, he is. A, anyways, he basically learned got his pilot's license because he was sick of doing book tours and having to pay for all the booking. He's like, how much? How long does it take to get a pilot's license? And so he does that. So now he flies himself. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, I am. Oh, you're good to get out of here. Yeah. All right. What time is it now? It is 127. Okay. So, uh, well, Sony episode morning, PS Viewer. Okay, let's actually, you know what? We'll finish on Well, <laughs> I'll finish on this. Um, the Abfiz York. You're going to have to give us a pronunciation key on this one. How about it's AB versus York? AB, oh, AB versus York. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, will Sony end up supporting PS VR more, you think? Um, I'm on board. I just wish we could sure, get more support. So. I love VR and I want it to be successful. How strong is the future of VR? What I don't, what I, what I, what I think people don't realize is that like, like first contact entertainment, uh, they didn't, they didn't make Firewall Zero Hour for the fuck of it, right? Like Sony, Sony paid for that game, yeah, yeah. right. They're, they're, I, I think that I'm pretty sure they're, a, they're a second party company, like mm-hmm. they are owned by Sony, yeah. Um, so uh, or if they're not owned by Sony, Sony paid for this to be developed exclusively for PlayStation VR. Mm. So like, you're going to be seeing games that may, might not say Sony all over them, right. but they are absolutely paid for yeah. by Sony. And yeah. we were seeing a huge uptick in the number of games released for this. I mean, oh, yeah. that's something, a conversation like I have pretty much every time I see Brian, is Brian like, oh crap, there's so much coming out this week. Yeah. Which yeah. six months ago, it eh, wasn't as much the issue. And yeah. they so, seem to be getting a little bit more meaty. You know, the length of the games yeah. is getting to be greater. Yeah, and when the length isn't there, the quality is there. Yeah. Border, That's what well, she said. Yeah. Bordering on sexual, yeah. Bordering. Uh, the uh, like, like transference is like super high, like high end triple A, um, amazing game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but super short. Yeah, right. Uh, and and I, but but luckily for the most part, oh, these most of the time you see these reflected in the cost of the game. Yeah. You know, transference twenty five bucks. All right, maybe a little pricey for two hours, but it's an amazing two hours. It's, it's a good yeah. two hours. Yeah. You know. So uh, you you very seldom see PlayStation VR games going for more than like twenty dollars. That yeah. is like kind of the base standard. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, hopefully over the next year we're gonna start seeing a lot more forty, fifty, sixty dollar games that are reflective of their quality. Yeah, yeah. So and, and I think we're just, I mean, we're still at the point where VR still has this feeling of it's this hobbyist thing. It's for people with you know more money than sense or whatever. Um, you know, but it's it's starting to crack into the consumer consciousness. And again, I keep banging on this drum, but just getting people to try it out yeah. sells the system. It's a system. All big the deal. videos in the world can't do it. And they, putting it on someone's head, they're like, "Oh, I get it." Yeah, yeah. we were like that with thinking we were going to cancel the pre-orders before they came in, and then we're like, "Ah," yeah. and we just did it. And then trying it was like, "Ah, wow, okay." Yeah, I can I can always tell in the comments. I can always tell who doesn't have a PSVR headset. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, they're like, "Oh, it's, P- VR still not there yet." I'm like, "Well, you still haven't what? tried it yet." Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's far from perfect. Well, Nothing's yeah, wrong, yep. but it is. You know, we, we talked about before. I was around in the '90s for you know round one of consumer VR, and it was not there. Then. <laughs> no, round like you call it consumer VR, man. But like, it's yeah. this is the first time. This is this is as far as I'm concerned, Gen One as far as like yeah, as far as consumer VR is concerned. Because yeah. 
you, you can't really call it consumer VR until it's affordable to the consumers. Yeah. yeah. And this is the first time it's ever happened. And man, I'm still shocked that Something it's as good that, as it is. And also a size that can be portable, you know? Right, right. I mean, as the tech gets better, everything gets smaller. And didn't uh, Sony just patent that? Um, that's actually an older patent, uh, the motion... Motion uh, newer s- yeah. headset. We don't know if that's not a newer one to come out or an idea of. They it's just, a, they just patent the crap out of every idea they come up with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cover, a patent yeah. that's existed for a while. It yeah. just got publicly kind of released oh, that see. it existed. Yeah, yeah. and you gotta go. I gotta go. All right. So, are we gonna take a break? Or are we gonna just? I will just. Well, there's no real. Okay. Break. Hey, what's up? Right. Wait, hey, no, wait, wait, pull forward or back? We can we can take a break. Hold on a second. We'll be we'll be back in just a moment with PlayStation VR. Theater. Theater. Bye. They can still hear us, but but now we're behind the curtain. Scott Travis is back making a comment, but still not apologizing. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to read your comments, Scott. And I person, I can't because we went through one update, and then it like updated, but now it's working on updates. So I don't know what that meant. I think it it basically went to the store and got the groceries. Now it's going to put them away. Des, take it easy, man. Thank you for swinging by today. See you, Des. I will see, I will see you tonight for uh, for a little Why We Love PSVR. Definitely tonight. Definitely tonight. I'm ready if you're ready. I will be ready. All right. <laughs> we'll see ya. Um, Six percent. Six percent. So that that mm. computer's useless. No, that's done for today. All right. Now, and is your phone useless? Again, you still not seeing? Com- <sighs> no, my phone. This won't. This won't work until I get my phone so you can't you can get phone calls on that phone i guess i can but, but you can't but you can't actually use it for anything i can't do anything that's ridiculous yeah All i right. mean i have it with me but just in case but i don't know what's happening on the other end of this thing i'm, I'm so nervous well here let me i are you missing something yes my laptop it's on the floor right there oh you see it yes do you, do you want to try and use that no, I, no i'm gonna okay. give him my phone okay thank you here you go. You can use my phone to, to do that. Thank All right. you. Uh, Jeremy, what are you saying? Should we open this curtain, man? Yes, we should open the curtain. Oh, let me find out how to do that. All right. Here we go. Ready? Let's reach Ready. Let's and... bring it out here and... Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That uh, thing that... fucking Oh, man. I t- quick. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. My, my, my creed arms are, are... Are sore. Very sore today. Uh, yeah, so apparently everybody wants to kick my ass in Creed. That's a thing. I saw last week a few people wanted to kick all of our asses. Yeah, so as uh, in the in the comments underneath the uh, underneath the review. Yeah. Yeah, it was like Kev Gret, I think Madman, I think J Dow. Yeah, uh, it's like there's a line forming. Yeah. yeah I want to kick my ass. <laughs> like, but I don't. Whoever the last one in that line is 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 going to have an easy victory. I'll tell you that because I'll be very very tired, for sure. Um. So, so I, I only I only pulled the curtain, uh, <laughs> I only pulled the curtain so that Des could leave yeah. without without uh, uh, being a big without spectacle. it being seen. Yeah. So, um, so I do have I I do have one, one more video from TGS. Um, I was surprised because uh, like two weeks ago, uh, Sony Sony did that whole like pre TGS. Uh, I don't. I don't want to call it a sizzle reel, but it was like a, a little bit. Yeah, it was, it was like a ton, a ton of things that they were going to be like, oh, here's all this stuff from T- that we're going to be covering in TGS. Yeah, and that was way more exciting than than seemingly TGS proper. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've got that three minute reveal on Death Stranding that they call gameplay. Wasn't that through Tokyo Game Show? Was it? I, hey, I listen, listen. To- Death Stranding. Yeah. The last time I saw anything about it was E3. Yeah. And they showed gameplay, and it was a like a lot of walking, a lot of walking, like fridges and like smaller fridges, and yeah, he, and he was no like no fridges he, on he, your back. He, he was like he was like pulling a wagon behind them or some shit like, like that. Different stuff. Yeah, it was like, very boring. This one there was like, I don't know, like an old lady or an old guy in a bag type thing on his back this time. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's the baby and different ages. I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I can't say I'm excited for Death Stranding. I don't know what the gameplay is going to be like. I know there's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. Yeah, it's That's, a walking simulator. Yeah, without without VR support, I think I'm just going to tune out for that one. <laughs> if the yeah. reviews come out and it's like crazy positive and everyone loves it, I'll be like, yeah. well, I'll get into it. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's a cold day in hell that gets me out of out of VR. I might end up Cyberpunk 2077. Is oh, that's going to be nasty. Uh, Resident Evil 2. Mikey, Mikey Sensei keeps beating the drum on that one. He's like, you're going to play it. You know you are. And I was like, I'm going to fucking play it. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, fucking play it. You will play it. Play it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm pissed that it's not in VR, and I, and I want to hold strong. Yeah. But I got to Maybe someday. I'm going to do it. Um, 
So it's uh so the only the only real video and, and please if anybody's in the chat and, 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 and sees and sees something saw something from TGS that we should that we should be paying attention to let us know yeah uh, I've been I've been too busy actually playing games this week then you know and not having time to cover breaking news reports so uh, Tommy the game cat he uh, oh in the says, VR hat yeah yeah he wants to know why do we always have to hit each other and shoot can't we have a can't there be a hugging game I think this should be a snorgy PSVR game. Snorgy? A snorgy. What's a snorgy? I kind of get the idea. Do you all sleep together, but not do anything but Listen, like, listen, rest? When, once the lights are out, any, it's anybody's game. It's like the right. Dane Cook, who's in my mouth. Was that what it was? I don't know. Let's turn the lights out and guess who's in my mouth. Something like that. I, I forget. Not not familiar with that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the snorgy, snorgy's a running gag on the channel. If you were, you know, part of the channel, you might know. <laughs> but it's, uh, it, yeah, it, it's, it's generally... Uh, it's it's generally a a slumber party where we all like sleep in the same bed. Yeah. Um, and snuggle. Like that's it. That's it. And, and so instead of being an orgy, it's a snorgy. Snorgy. Yeah. That's it's kind of adorable. It's it's more than adorable. It's extremely adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who coined that phrase? I think that was me. Nice. Yeah. And I, yeah. If somebody else took the if somebody else coined it, then I sorry I'm taking the credit for it. Yeah. Uh, let's let's check out this video of um disaster report four summer memories plus which. Uh, a, a little while ago, got revealed that it was going to be uh, a, a PS4 game. Yeah. And the PSVR content was separate. Like it wasn't the whole game is not playable in VR. Okay. Which I hate. But I know. How can you enjoy a portion of a game and then the rest of it's flat screen? It's like. Yeah. It's like a trailer. Like oh, there's your movie. It's a trailer. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I feel like I. I think we were jumping the gun when we were like, "Oh, we, you know, the t the era of PSVR experiences is over." It is not over. Yeah, it is not over. A lot of no. these developers are still working on their experiences from seemingly years ago. Yeah, Disaster Report was supposed to come out, I think, two years ago. Did the Jumanji one come out? <laughs> no. See? No. I. It might not ever. It's come too out. late. I feel yeah. like Sony might have blocked that one because it because I mean, we saw. Oh, it looked horrible. It, it looked, looked like so a bad. Sid Meier's like a Sid Meier's game back in fucking like two thousand four, like these big characters running on a little map. Sure, you know, right? No, no, de no, uh, no disrespect to Sid Meier games. No, because those were great. Those were awesome. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this this just looked bad. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's check out the newest uh, trailer for Disaster Report Four: Summer Memories Plus. Um, like there. Oh, Japanese. Turn this a little bit sideways. I don't think it's too much that we haven't seen before. Uh, was I here, Dead Ringer? I guess uh, Dead Ringer was like, wait, why is Jeremy acting like he never heard that word snor snorgy? But anyways, I don't know. Yeah, All right, I, I feel like if I feel like everybody. That watches the channel knows Snorgy. Yeah. You just you just need to watch the channel. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. You you played the old Disaster Report games or no? No, I never did. Okay. No. So the first one came out on on PlayStation Two. Yeah. Disaster Report. Yeah. And then there was Raw Danger. Yeah. Uh, which was like Disaster Report Two. Uh, Cover and, that was kind of chaotic, right? And so yeah, like, ah. but but like but you know like really low budget. Yeah. It was bad. Um, and even the gameplay itself, the, the game was like, it's like, okay, here's this big, you know, kind of open worldish Resident Evil style, like survival game or something. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, but, but I mean like for a PlayStation two game, like some, some PlayStation two games looks really, really oh, good. Oh, for real. It looked great. Yeah. A lot of games on a lot the of PlayStation games. two. Yeah. Disaster Report did not. Okay. Right. These, these developers were definitely like not either not familiar with like how to make a, a good game or, or they were just very, very, had a very, very limited budget yeah. or whatever it was. Um, so it's, I'm curious to, to look into these developers and see what they've made since. Like what? The, there's a lot more change to it since the uh, other trailers we had seen, huh? This is showing a lot more. Yeah, but man, was that it? I thought it was a much longer trailer. Well, it is because they showed this a lot, apparently. Yeah, right. They just showed like all the blue stuff. Mm. I don't know. All right, whatever. Well, let's transition back. That was weird. Um, and and so yeah, so so I'm I'm curious to see like you know what have these guys been doing since the PlayStation Two era? You have know? they come out with anything between now and then? I don't know. Or you know what? It's, instead of asking questions, it's like 
If only I had the internet at my disposal. I know, right? Because sometimes it is incredibly interesting to find out what these people have been up to. It's like, really? You find out for like 12 years they were like printing fake money for, you know, uh, some sort of a little toy registered bullshit or it's insane. Yeah, there's a cover. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Um, They've been, uh, what have they been hanging out? Spending time with their family? Okay, so so this is this is the Wikipedia entry for the original one. Uh, average reviews, blah 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 blah. Uh, came out in two thousand three, February two thousand three. Um, sequels, a sequel, blah 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 two, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. And this is all Japanese. I can't even pronounce like these are words. I not even gonna try. Yeah. Uh, was released in Japan on March thirtieth. Oh, and later released in America and Europe is Raw, da- Raw Danger. Perfect. Mm-hmm. A second sequel lots of Japanese words, was released on PSP. It was not released outside of Japan. I do not have this one. I need to find... Which one was it? Uh, the, well, Disaster Report 3. 3. Right. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm don't. not going to try to pronounce it. Um, okay, so, so, so check this out. I think this is where I was getting confused. Disaster Report 4, Summer Memories, was scheduled for release on PlayStation 3 with 3D and move support. But really? It was, but it was canceled. Canceled. This entire game, and I do kind of remember this, it was canceled after the 2011 uh, Tohoku, Tohoku earthquake. There was a big earthquake in did Japan. We, uh, what did we talk about? The, yeah, there was some sort of a game that was canceled due to some other reasons. Yeah. Wow. So this was so so this game, it, it, it was actually called Disaster Report 4 Summer Memories. Yeah. On PlayStation 3, in 3D with move support. Yeah. Cancelled because of the earthquakes. Here we are, seven years later. Um, so a different company bought bought the series from Irem. Okay. And now they they are re-releasing the old games for download in Japan. The original, oh, geez, they they're like totally trying to bring the series back. Development for the fourth game was resumed, and this new company released three new teaser pictures uh and announced yeah so they are basically picking up where where the playstation 3 version left off like the, wow. play, the unreleased playstation 3 canceled version that's what they're trying to bring to playstation Build 4 and psvr that. i mean it makes sense i guess right and that game is in that game what's up the phone, phone works call? oh you're getting a phone call yeah i can't get that though that's alicia okay and, and she doesn't know you're here no, she does, but I mean, like, yeah, for sure, comp. absolutely, you know. So this is this is this has had such a, a fucking sordid history, man. Like this game has been in development for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, many many years. Yeah, and they they were saying it's like they were supposed to be announced to release detailed information around autumn 2015. So they're not saying it was supposed to be released in 2015. There was supposed to be information, more information coming. So this game, I, I, I thought it was supposed to come out in 2016. And here we are, 2018, seven years after the PlayStation 3 version was supposed to come out. Game's still not out. Yeah, really. But, but and, and, so, and so maybe I have a feeling that they're, they're piecing together an old game yeah and, and trying to push it out the door and then, uh, and, and then usually PSVR doesn't support fare on top well. of that yeah so maybe maybe we're learning something here it's a frankenstein what is going on in the chat there's a lot happened i had to put it down because it was very distracting yeah let's see what people saying uh something something the game doesn't impress el zianta i know Gollum better be the best damn game ever by this point says the drunk gamer yeah, the Gollum, Gollum is still scheduled for 2018. High wire games uh, or tripwire games. Which one didn't make Killing Floor? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, High Wire, I think, is uh, is the one who's making this. They, they said it's still coming 2018. Dave Station thinks that Disaster Report 4 could look maybe decent it, from his uh, Tokyo Game Show uh, footage. Yeah, it looks good. It, it looks like it could be good, but like I'm only interested in playing the PSVR portion, and it looks like... The earlier trailers we saw of the PSVR portion, uh, it looks like it's on rails. Yeah, like it looks like they're slowly did, moving really. through the city. Yeah, yeah, very slowly. Yep. Now you can like hop a fence while wearing a pencil skirt. <laughs> well, hey, when a disaster hits, you're wearing what you're wearing. Yeah, you know that's why you should always be clothed. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's nothing more adorable than like a uh, like a 
Japanese school, school girl. Oh God, that why does it sound so? Everything sounds so perverted today. Yeah, and, I mean everything that comes out of my mouth. Is None of these perverted. disaster movies or games do they ever show people in like there would be people running down the street that jumped out of the shower. There'd be people running out of the street that were like half dressed. There would be like people that like you know. Wait, wait. So if you, so, what event? What what disastrous event do you think would cause people to run screaming out of their house in a towel? Uh, if there was an earthquake where portions of the building they were living in started to collapse. You think so? Uh, maybe a major fire okay. in a building or in a neighborhood. Uh, bombings of several where they're like, oh my God, this bombs get out of here. Then Running you know, down the street in a towel. Maybe. I'm going to escape the bombs on foot. Well, the people, the few select people that the explosion uh-huh. or the incident happened like directly where like half the wall was gone. And they're sure. like, no, I got to get out of here. And they just run, fight or flight. They just go. Me, I would take a moment to like put some clothes on. I'd be like, ah, oh, but I really like that thing. I should take it with me. But what about this? And then I'd die. I would, I, the first thing I would do. Yeah. Like if like meteors started falling from the sky or some like, you know, end of. That fucking, type of shit. Yeah. yeah. First thing I would do. Yeah. I'd order a pizza. Okay. Yeah. If the pizza guy makes it, give him a good tip. Because yeah. it might be the last pizza delivery he makes. And it might be the last pizza I get delivered. Yeah. Right? It might be the last pizza I eat ever. That's true. It could be, yeah. It's, At least the last fresh one. It's totally possible. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, and, and then, uh, and, and then I, you know, watch. I, I, start, I start buying movies. All of them. Max out your credit card. You're pretty you much. You ain't paying it back. Right. And, so, and just and, and cut, and cuddle up in bed. Yeah. With the pizza. Yeah. In the dark, yeah, and, wa- and watch a good scary It'd movie. Be like the old couple in in Titanic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and like, because because uh, if I'm gonna die, I'm not gonna run out in the street in a towel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna die doing the things that I love. Yeah, and that's watching scary movies, eating pizza in the dark. Yeah, by myself. If you had to grab one thing, and I'd love to see what people think. What's the one thing in a disaster where you had to fucking go? What's the one thing you would one thing you would take? You have to take and go. You can't sit and order a pizza and die. Does my, I mean, does, so does my, is my phone automatically on me? That, that that I feel like everybody's phone is automatically on them. Would clothing count? And then beyond that, I mean, clothing doesn't count. Anything beyond that would count. And yeah, would a phone count as an item? Because that's like the world at your fingertips. Right, if 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 self service continued to if operate, self service, right? I yeah, feel, I feel like for whatever reason, as soon as disaster strikes, done. everything's done. Right, the phone's useless. Well, people used to be like, "Oh my god, in a fire, yeah. I need to grab all of my Polaroids and family photos," but I would grab my phone because it's all on there. I think most of mine are up- uploaded to the cloud by now, so yeah. I would just wait for the cloud to come back. Mine, sixteen <laughs> hours from now, might be uploaded to the cloud. Sixteen hours. Uh, I would honestly, in this in this ridiculous scenario, yeah, where like, let's let's pretend my Jeep wasn't getting me anywhere to safety. Yeah, let's pretend my car keys were useless. Let's pretend my phone is useless. Yeah, this sounds really dumb. Yeah, I would take my guitar. Yeah, that, I would. That's it, man. I got I got an acoustic sound guitar. Dumb. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find the nearest cave. <laughs> It's like in the Stalker in the Apocalypse. Stalker, they were there's dudes sitting around plucking their yep. guitar. That would be me. Yeah, I'd be like, I can no longer play VR, so I'm gonna fall back on my last dream musician see i can't bring my drums with me no we can bring some pots and pans man hit them with sticks <laughs> yeah. yeah what would you bring well so we we would consider that the kids would be the latter half they would be with their mother for this half of the week that disaster struck okay so you're not taking your kids because if so i would grab them both i would not leave one yeah behind. in this scenario i don't have a cat yet because i don't have a cat yeah, yet. yeah there's no cat yet yeah. um so when i grab that's so funny because i think without like my my kids being safe I mean, nothing else matters. I don't know if I would take anything. I guess I would take my phone just for the chance. Yeah. Because money, what's money going to do at that point? At least it might work for a portion. Yeah, a brief period, right? And then be useless. Yeah. Food, I mean, I got to bring one item. What's food going to do? There's going to be plenty of people out there that left food behind elsewhere that I could grab. Yeah, I'm going to say, people are running down the street in your scenario in towels. Yes. Very few stores are going to be open. Yeah, not at that moment. <laughs> it's, it's kind of over. Like that dude that had to go poo when you went in there at three in the morning. It's like disaster struck for him. That, that was that was. My At least he grabbed story another bag of a pair of pants. So yeah. he did have another pair of pants. I think my car. He gave me a discount the next day. Did he really? He did. 
I was I was like I was like, what did I buy? That's only a dollar because everything I put up on the counter was like three dollars. It was hush more. money. It was he, hush money. And, and he goes, he goes, no, that's just that's my thank you. And I was Thanks like, to shut up. I'm like, apparently my hush money is two dollars. Which what he doesn't know is you just told twenty two thousand people last week. Yeah. He fucking pooed his pants yeah. at three in the morning uh-huh. and then paid you off $2. to the wrong person. Anywhere that walked in that door. Yeah. There's not one other person, I think, that walks in that goddamn door that has access to 22,000 people. Except you have, you also understand that, like, 17 people watch this. Oh, I know. It's only, yeah. like, a few that comment. Yeah. Very, very, very few people actually watch this There's show. people that subscribed and just forgot about it. Well, and, and the fact is... is I like think 21,000 of them. The conversation that's been going on for the last 15 minutes... Yeah. ...explains why no one watches yeah, this that's show. That's true. That <laughs> this true. has nothing to do with VR. No. No. The uh, disaster report caused it. Yeah, for sure. So I guess I got to see what some of the people in there. I would take my car because then with my vehicle, you would take your car. I would. Now I'm feeling bad that I didn't take my car. Well, my, that's my, the one my thing. My car's not doing my. I keep. I keep my Jeep. The, <laughs> the only thing. The only thing that I just pump money into and don't even question. Yeah. Is my is my Jeep? Yeah. I'm like anything breaks on it. I'm like, yep, just fix it. Yeah. They're like you want to just yep, fix it. Just do it. Just yeah. Do it. I got two very reliable mechanics in the city. Yeah. And I and I, and I pump money into that Jeep. Keep it going. Just to keep it going. Yeah. Um. And so, so I mean, like, guitar is dumb. I, mean, I love my guitar, but, but yeah, no. Like, if if, if vehicles are gonna can get us somewhere, throw food in there. Yeah. I can go. I'll go get my kids. You and me can you caravan know? across the state. We can. You mm-hmm. can. I got plenty of room. We we could caravan, and then when your jeep breaks down or my car breaks down, oh, my jeep's going first for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we only collect attractive people. Oh, because if we're gonna repopulate the the human race, you gotta do They're it. gonna be pretty. Yeah. And very pretty. Yeah, they gotta like short people. And going back to our anal sex introduction. Yeah, I guess we gotta go. We're not gonna nope. repopulate. Not that way. <laughs> no, we need to get somebody else. <laughs> yeah. You know, let's uh, see if anybody else said anything. God damn, are there still people watching? Um, they're talking about Gollum. Okay. I, I, I mean, Gollum. true and false. True and A false. Tornado. Berber cat. <laughs> um, my katana. That's Cornerstone Seven 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 would bring his katana. Um, I mean, in, in in a zombie apocalypse, I feel like that would be extremely useful. Start like severing limbs and stuff. It would be, yeah. Katana would be uh, very useful. Knife, frowny one would bring a knife. Okay, a knife, um, like a kitchen knife or like a butcher knife or a knife. Battle mode, brain, Bainbridge, Bainbridge yeah. says I take the knife, capital the knife, the knife. Um, oh, there's only one. <laughs> uh, Mikey would take the switch. Oh, that, that's an excellent point. Yeah, he would still post photos of Prime Mario in different disaster type outfits too. Okay. Let's see. You know, you know, maybe it's, maybe my switch is a good idea because I could finally play Octopath Traveler. Madman, yeah, Madman would grab his cat. What about his wife? Well, she, well, she also gets to. Oh yeah, she's leave a separate person. That's true. Yeah, she is yeah. a separate person, despite what. Aha! Uh-huh. You know, Blaze said, <laughs> just send your cat to the cloud. That's funny. Send your cat to the cloud. Oh, who's a good kitty? Drunk who's gamers a... grabbing his headset and his the uh, PlayStation. That's two things. Uh-huh. That's the problem. I would take my PSVR headset, but then I don't have anything to play it on. <laughs> to know is to die, we'll go back to bed because whatever happens, happens. See, that's where we should all be. Go to bed, snorgy, pizza, horror movies, fucking life is great again. Just pretend it's not happening, and then when you die, it's not your problem anymore. Robor- Roberto Vincitoro, Vincitori said a crowbar and a towel, but he needs one item. A crowbar and a towel. Yeah, solar so, so, charger. So, so, that so, is true. So this is a Battle. cross between this is a cross between Half Life and Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the, the two most important yeah. things. Yeah, right. there's so many. Ketamine is what Scott Travis would go and grab at the vet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 a big special fan K. Of, I'm a big fan of K. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? That in, in while I'm in bed with my pizza and my horror movies, I might as well fall into a K hole. Right. <laughs> Aless wants you to give back that hush money. You you. You think so? I, the, I should give back the two dollars. He says you <laughs> broke the pooper's trust. Um, uh, none, none of you guys even know who the pooper is. Um, power generator and firewall. Wow. Uh, Aless says this conversation for the last fifteen minutes is exactly why he listens <laughs> to this show. Well, Aless, you're old school as fuck, man. Like, right? I, I, that that's that's the only reason people started watching the Midnight Games cast. That's true. Uh, it yeah. certainly wasn't for our video game knowledge. No, Berber Cat thinks the world's gonna be like a prison, apparently, because he would bring cigarettes and use them as currency. I would start smoking again. Would you? I would also start drinking again. Because, <laughs> because God, I mean, if the world is ending, again, pizza, snuggles, 
horror movies, booze. Well, that's what I never understood in, in, in movies like The Predator or give it any kind of a fucking title with this disaster and these people on guard. They sit at the camp and they're resting and then all of a sudden there's the one dude that always has that flask yeah. and he starts passing around. I wouldn't want to drink at that moment. I'd want my wits about me because I'm at a campfire. There's shit behind nope. me that's going to fucking attack. I want to nope. be like on it. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, this is the end of the world. Uh, I might try to fight. I might not. But I'm definitely going to be drunk. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. Other people is, uh, you know, there's a lot. So we can move on because it's getting to that time. We can definitely move yes. on. In fact, it is time uh, to, 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 to to end the show, man, because here's the thing. We've been going for, I was going to say, two hours, I was gonna yeah. say almost two hours. Close. We, we had a false start today. We did. That's for sure. With, prior to my prior to arriving? You, yes. Yeah. Uh, like I had to reset OBS like three times. My, the mics weren't working. Really? Um, and I finally figured out the problem. So if it happens again, well, like it won't be a big issue. Mm -hmm. But like, man, I have no idea what I'm doing here. There's a lot of buttons. There's a lot of things to learn. And uh, I didn't take the time to learn any of it. And you did pretty well with just figuring it out as you go. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing our best. Yeah. We're doing our best. Um, so here's the thing. Yeah. Okay. There, there are a lot of people out there that want to kick my ass in Creed. <laughs> and so for the next, uh, I'm, I'm going to say... I need I need to eat something. Okay. And I need to I need to make a little more coffee. Don't eat carrots. Well, I'll eat carrots. Um, and then uh, and then at two thirty. So in thirty four minutes from now, I'm gonna get online. Mm hmm. And like for like an hour, I'm just gonna fight people. <laughs> right. So so from two thirty to three thirty Eastern. Yep. Uh, if you if you're not if you're not my friend on the PlayStation Network, add me. That would be dark. All one word. That would be dark. Uh, and uh, and man, just just. Send send requests, and I and I will, and I will accept Wait them. In line. I will accept them in the order they come. I uh, accept. Yeah. I promised. I I promised Madman in Black. Yeah. Kevgret. Yeah. And Jay Dow. Yeah. Those are one, two, and three. They owe you. Uh, they owe you. So they owe me. I owe them. You're like the the insulting clown sitting on the platform while people fucking. You're gonna let them throw balls at you. Dunk you in the tank. No, I'm, I'm gonna kick their ass. You think you're gonna be victorious? I don't. I'm really out smart. of those three. I don't. I don't are you gonna put round limits? I think okay. Here, here are my no. They're gonna weigh you down, Brian. Here, yeah, I know. You're gonna I be know. like just I'm, that who, village. Like I said, whoever the last person in line is to kick my ass. Yeah. Automatic victory. Yeah. Because I'm just gonna be like, just, just go ahead. <laughs> just go ahead. Do what, do what you want to me. I, I got nothing left. Yeah. Yeah. No, no gas in the tank. Yeah. Um, but but I think my prediction. Yeah. My prediction. I think I got Jade out. With, why? I think I don't know. Jay, you hear this, right? I, I think I, I I think I can take Jay Dow. Ooh. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think I can take him. <laughs> uh, I think Madman's gonna kill me. Oh, I think so too. His name's Madman. Yeah, he's gonna fucking, fucking destroy you. Me. Yeah. Uh, and, I think because uh, he's so happy and he seems always so happy, but digitally he's gonna destroy you. Yeah, pe happiest people, like comedians, or yeah. like, like the darkest people. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, th I think there, I think there's like a real dark side to, to Madman and Black. Well, the word black is in there. Madman and black, Mad Game Cat. Yeah, all these things. All of it. Cats yep. scratch. Mm -hmm. They do scratch people. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then Kevgret. I think Kevgret. Yeah. Uh, I think I think he and I are going to go toe to toe, and we are going to wear each other down. And whoever gets that last good punch in is going to be the victor. I don't. I think he because he's got the all uh, real American hero symbol is his like thing, right? Is that it? I think that's the real American hero symbol that Kev Gret has. I don't remember. Yeah. It was a great show. I only slept for an hour last night. They're all going to kick my ass. Uh, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and on 22%, everybody. Well, so by next week. By next week. Next week. <laughs> it'll totally be done. But it's working on updates. Next, it'll need to install them. Oh, yeah. No, that, yeah. that computer, there's no way the updates are even going to run. Get like fruit flies. What are you reaching for? Brian? The fruit fly that just went by. Sure, it yeah. did. I have I have like a lot of trash to take out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, so I will see you online uh, in, in a half an hour. Make sure you add me as a friend. Uh, PlayStation Network. That would be dark. We can we can fight. I'm gonna fight for an hour straight. Uh, I, I I don't I don't I don't know what's fair. I, I think I, I I don't think two out of three is gonna be a, an option. Yeah, uh, because because uh, I'm I think I've got too many people to fight. You've got a few people were sending me requests last night. I I haven't even read yet what people are gonna. I bet I bet you people are like already starting to comment. Yeah, uh, people were uh, people were sending me requests uh, at like four or five o'clock in the morning. I know yeah. I know Mr. Boring was out there mm -hmm. uh, asking me to fight, and I was like, dude, you don't even know where I'm at right now. Like, <laughs> I, I, it it looks like I'm playing Creed, but yeah. I I am I am not. I, John Riggs is down for drunken Creed. 
John Briggs. The drunken bar f- fight, Creed. St- I just recently deleted drunken bar fight. Yeah. That, from my console. I think we all wanted that to be more fun than it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wish I w- there, there's one good. Uh, I can't believe we're dragging this out. Um, <laughs> there's 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 one non ring fight in Creed. There's one. It's like a street fight. You're in a, you're like you're in like a back alley. Really? Yeah. Something went bad. Like you and his bouncer were going at it. And I was like, and I was like, man, I, this is great. Is that fair. I really, I really hope that there's more of this. Like, and and I was like, even envisioning like being in a bar fight, right? Yeah. Like just like, like having just people come at you like one after the next, you know, pick up a bar stool and hit them over the head with it or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> so it, it gave us a glimpse into like you know potential DLC or something like that. Hey. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all right, so that's going to do it for another episode of PSVR Gamescast Live. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, shit, I did not bring up, I did not bring up the Patreon list. This oh week. shit, uh, it is terribly outdated. Okay. So I apologize to any new Patreon supporters or any old Patreon supporters. Uh, next week, I will absolutely have an, the updated Patreon list scrolling across the bottom. Uh, but that doesn't mean we don't love and appreciate each and every single one of you because we fucking absolutely, absolutely do. Yes. All right, you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see you all again next week. Yes, we will. And we love you all. D- don't we? Don't, don't we love, do we love them so much? <laughs> we love them all. I can't pet them though when they touch my face because I am allergic to cats. It's it's a snorgy. It's time for the snorgy. Oh, uh, let's go. And then we're all gonna kick each other's ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. We'll see ya. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing. We gotta do. The- I know there's a naked Brian Paul around here somewhere. Where is he? This is Met Club, and this is the Games Cast Live.